Guys, if you haven't already, make sure to follow the podcast on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. It helps us more than you could imagine. The All right, Lux- wait, so this is number 17? Yeah. Luxy Booth 3000. Oh, that sounds like I have a hotel. Nation, I don't know, what else? Welcome to episode number 17. 17 is actually my favorite number. Oh, it is. It is. That is a, it's, it's, oh yeah, you had oh. it on the, the <laughs> football. <laughs> Yeah. No, it's the roulette number. The roulette number. Yeah. Um, if you guys didn't know, we're here with Calux today. Hello. CEO of No Two Ways. Retired CEO of- YouTuber, maybe? I yeah, don't yeah. Know. No. CEO YouTuber of Brand Deals. Side. CEO of Brand Deals. Do you, wanna, do, you wanna, do you know how many brand deals I've got coming up? Go on. So I've, I think my past seven yeah, have, have been branded. <laughs> I, I love have, that. I have nine more to go. Really? Nine more. And they don't mind just being at the back of the queue. Or they do mind. They don't know. (laughs) They don't know they're at the back of the queue. Being like a little bit slow replying to certain Mm -hmm. people on, uh, you know, about certain things. But it's uh, it's a bit of a madness at the moment. Yeah, mate. Every time you upload, I just, you just, you can guarantee it's a brand deal. But but Ethan's kind of like that as well. Ethan doesn't upload. Ethan does a lot of them. He loves them. I I want to upload normal videos though. I'm not just... Uh. Do you know what I mean? Like, but yeah, you but can't say no to the bread. When the it comes, bread's when serious. It's there, the, when, yeah. it's the bread's and the it's, bread. Oh, it's a hot loaf, baby. Yeah. Right? The steam's coming off the top of it. You can't say no. It's For true. us, it's how, manscaped. How, yeah, how, how is the brand deals on this side of the room? Oh, we, we yeah. love it. You know what? You know what? Considering the content on the podcast, they have been very welcoming to us. And obviously, the fellas and Felitas at home do support this podcast mm-hmm. like mad. They we do. have like essentially a cult. I'm pretty sure if Chip, <laughs> if Chip at some point wants to declare himself as Jesus, he, he, he could get away with it. I do look like him. I mean, after a rough night, I'm not gonna lie, yeah? Uh, you, I've you been could told pass. I give Jesus vibes. What your th- Wait, we had this conversation on the oh, last no. thing. What are your thoughts on um, Moses part in the Red Sea? Is that code for something? Or just no, like no, straight what, up? Just no, what like you straight up. Do you reckon Moses actually part of the Red Sea yeah. or do you reckon he's a fraud? I reckon, well, if we're saying that God's real. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's Dude, already started. Egg. If we're saying that God's real, then yeah, my man, like he spread the okay. Spread and, it, yeah. and then, what are your thoughts about Noah's Ark? Yeah, yeah, he did the he did the Lord's work. I so, think that he should come. So you believe that all the animals hopped on a boat? <laughs> or the whole world's animals got. On I one don't boat? believe in any of this. Okay, oh, what do you believe? I like in? You think the story. they're all frauds? Huh? You oh. think they're all frauds? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like. Ah, oh, why? <laughs> Number one, we. The, the first thing we get into on this <laughs> is that what, what does Calyx, is Calyx religious? <laughs> yeah. Religion is fraud. <laughs> no, I, I appreciate what it brings to people. It's uh-huh. just not for me. Okay. And I can appreciate the stories mm-hmm. that are behind it. On a real one, what do you believe in? I believe that there is a higher power out there. Uh-huh. I believe that potentially, you know how people have like, y- your kid will have like his ant thing next to his um, bed, his like, in a glass box. In America, they do it, innit? They have yeah. like, and yeah, they want to bring it in for like about. show and tell. Oh, what, like a little ant mound? Like an yeah. ant farm thing. Ant oh, farm. Okay. Yeah. I reckon we are that, but in, in a picture. another universe. Yeah. Like we're just like a CD-ROM game for some next oh. man in a different universe. See, I, for real, I, I, I believe that. I, I do, I'm on board with that. Essentially that it's like a simulate, like we are essentially a, an extremely high level version of Sims. Yeah, for real. Yeah. And it's so funny that they've given us Sims in the Sims as well. Oh yeah. my God. Imagine if they thought, how funny would it be is if these lot thought <laughs> yeah. that they could play the game that we're playing. Yeah. Yeah, wow. it's nuts. It's, I, I, you know, I know, I've watched a lot of stuff from Elon Musk as well. Big uh, fan. Mm-hmm. Um, get him on the pod. Oh no, you already texted me. I said, man, I don't think this is the one we talk about porking and stuff. I'm not too sure. I don't know. You see, he busted out the weed on on the Joe Rogan one. Yeah, right? that's you know, true. He's up for some Elon stuff. is not on Fraud Watch. So no, he, yeah. he, so he if is. you're watching Elon, <laughs> um, up on. But yeah, I I definitely believe there's there's something out there, something bigger. I just couldn't tell you what. But Donald Trump signed that thing, didn't he, with the COVID relief pack mm-hmm. that said that they're going to release yeah, that. alien info in six months. Yeah, I saw that. Chip, chip you po- you, po- you posted that. Uh, that on your story as well, I remember. Oh, Did you I? reshared it yeah, or something. Yeah, something like that, yeah. Yeah, so it's something about, wait, like... What is, what is the thing? What, what was it again? Class- it was like from de- about four months ago. Declassified info will come out six months after he signed it. I think he signed it in November, December. Right. So hopefully like April, May. About June. aliens. I just feel like yeah. with that kind of stuff, though, it always gets just dropped and lost like yeah, shit, like what you have to understand is that right now chip yep 
we're living the movie. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Twenty twenty. Yeah. Twenty twenty one. Oh. Has been a movie. I like where this is going. Donald Trump, mm -hmm. coronavirus. Mm -hmm. What's next? Cryptocurrency. A yeah. Aliens. Aliens. Yeah. This would get a good score on IMDb. For sure. Mm -hmm. 90 plus on Rotten Tomatoes. You know it'd be the highest grossing film of the weekend. <laughs> the weekend. The weekend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. For they real though. It's, it's it a we live in a movie. It's a yes. real life movie at the moment. Yeah. Oh, I, I can't wait to see what the next like, twist in the, in the movie is. Ooh. Then it, 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 it must be aliens. aliens. It's got to be. It's the only place okay. we can go from here. I've got a question then about aliens. Yeah. What do you reckon they look like? Ooh. That's a crazy one, you know. <clears throat> You're that the alien guy. I'm expecting I, I, a response. I do think that some of the things that people have said, like where they talk about gray aliens and a little gray figures mm. with bigger heads, I do think that is very possible. I think if anything, I would do picture it like that. What, like E.T.? And I think that's where the the whole movie thing came from. This flying saucer and everything that's all in movies and everything was from it's the original flying saucer sighting. And then right. they just did everything from that. But also, the also like the hieroglyph hieroglyphics on the side of like, like in ancient yeah, Egypt. I've seen all that. Yeah, like that's there's, crazy. There's, there's sources and, mm -hmm. and narrow men and weird yeah. shaped men slender and men. stuff. Yeah, slender men. Yeah, that, that were busting around helping them build the pyramids. Apparently, it would be so good or as well if the alien reveal like disclosure happens whilst we're at this age. Oh, you know? I don't want it to happen when I'm eighty and I yeah, can barely yeah. stand up. I want to be out and about on Reddit, <laughs> all over that <laughs> shit. Doing the madness. I want to be yeah. I want to be all over. I want to know everything about them, blood type, all kinds of shit. And when and when and when you're eighty, they're just gonna go. If they come down, they'll be like, oh, he's, yeah, yeah, mate. Yeah, we're not hanging with you. Almost had you lot like. Yeah, yeah, like exactly. we want to deal with the the chippos and freezies of yeah. the world. It's true. Top of their physical, you know, peak physical condition. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Athletes. Uh huh. You uh -huh. want to play ball with them? Yeah, yeah. That's possible. <laughs> that's possible. See if they can kick ball. You know. I, I see. I see. I, I watched. I watched a movie. It was called Arrival. Yeah. Has anyone seen the movie? Yeah, 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 Arrival? Yeah, yeah. 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 Don't think and, so. And and it was all about um, aliens coming to Earth, right? But. It sort of the reason why the movie was so popular, obviously, it was a, it was a well made movie, but also the fact that it challenged the idea of what we perceive aliens to be. So, like Chip said, it could just be the classic ET looking Donny, but these things were like big. What, what, what were they like? They like? were, they were something that you couldn't even, it, they didn't See. speak, yeah, they, they, didn't they, speak. they had their own complete language and they figured it out by the end of the film. Yeah, it was mad. and it was like a visual language, yeah. not a spoken language. It was nuts. Yeah. It sounds like I need to watch this film. Mate, bang, it's called Arrival, would definitely recommend it. Even if Done. anything, it just challenges the way you think. Yeah. How, if aliens were to come down, we think that they would just come down on their fucking little spaceships and that, drop <laughs> off and then just live like we do. It's like, no, these things were beasts. Yeah. Like Matt, it's a good anyways, good yeah. movie. If you like yeah. aliens, you should definitely watch it. The sure. thing the thing that swung it swung it, whatever, we'll roll with that. We we'll swung it. S swung it for me was um more stars in the sky than grains, grains of, of sand, sand on earth. Now that's crazy. That is tapped. I've never heard that. Yeah. Let that sink in for a second. And a star is surrounded by stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So So Mad. It's impossible that there isn't something out there, in yeah. my opinion. There's going to be people out there shouting at their screen going, no. Yeah. But it's, it, in my opinion, it's impossible for there not to be life out there. Even if it's just a plant. Mm -hmm. Some sort of plant. And it wasn't that long ago, many years ago, when they didn't even know about all these planets. And now there's like billions of planets with Earth-like atmosphere that can all can harvest life potential to. Oh, but maybe. they're just so far away. Yeah, just too that we're just far never going to travel never reach them. unless we do a little interstellar mm -hmm. team. And what? And just uh, one of the greatest, if not the greatest. It's movie my favorite time. movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, the, I don't want to go into that movie too no. much because everyone does need to watch this, and we could be here for hours talking about that one movie. Um, but one thing that me and Chip are working on, you might have seen it on our social media, is we are on the hunt for for someone to help us along with our uh, new sort of spin-off show, which is like a uh, it's like crime related, but also might have some conspiracy stuff mm -hmm. in there as well. Yeah. And one thing that I'm very keen to talk about on there is actually how the pyramids were made. Yeah, that's just because you, you always banged on. A, yeah, a bit because about obviously about I lived that. in Egypt, didn't it? So I used to ride my horse around the fucking pyramids. Yeah, and is I used to look at. Was you, it a camel? You rode, you yeah. rode a, a horse. horse. You were yeah. riding. Horses, right? horses yeah bro I had, I had my horse in Egypt yeah I used to ride it around and I used to look at the pyramids <laughs> and I used to think those are mad you had a different I was buying 15p freddles from boss man you, <laughs> <were, laughs> you were riding horses around the pyramids 
15 p in your Yeah, I was. I, my time. Yeah, you're a but bit you're older 30, than me. right? What, yeah. 32? What is he? 32? No, 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 no. Don't be 31? released. He's 29, isn't he? Oh, I thought he was 31. 28, uh, fellas. All right, okay, okay. Close enough. But Chip, you, <laughs> had a, you actually had a question that you wanted to ask, uh, obviously, yes. our star guest, yeah, quite Christopher Callix. Yeah, huge. Wait, Very sorry. intellectual. Wait, wait. wait. Before, we, before we... I'm going to jump in uh -huh. quickly. Yeah. I wanted to say this one thing. Mm -hmm. um, I love a conspiracy, right? Mm -hmm. We know this. We've been through it before. We live together. Um, did you see how I became part of that conspiracy the other day? No. When I, when I, got, va I got vaccinated... And I tweeted that. out that I was had Astra AstraZeneca running through my veins, and then an, uh, an anti-vax Snapchatter put me put a screenshot of my thing on there, being like, um, "Look at this guy being paid to uh, talk about like the vaccine." He could have just said he was vaccinated, but instead he said the the vaccine's name. Yeah. If this isn't proof, la 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 la, like incredible. And I'm sitting there on the other side, and I'm like, I love a conspiracy. But actually, I'm not part of this conspiracy at all. Like, I, I'm clearing that knowledge. Like, yeah, I know yeah. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now I'm part of it. And it's uh -huh. like, oh, shit. This is what every conspiracy is like, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, the, the people that are being conspired against, if you will. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're like, this This is so annoying. It's I clearly haven't <laughs> been paid to, to tweet out that I've had the vaccine or whatever it was. Yeah. Um, and it must be sort of, it's, it's sort of like uh, the geezer that went on the moon. It was uh, Neil Armstrong and Buzz, Buzz Aldrin. Aldrin or Buzz Aldrin yeah. yeah and and he you know he's constantly getting Did you see stuff that? at him he oh, wait, he, got whacked, some, yeah, no, he whacked he whacked oh, he someone, punched someone yeah, for yeah. Can you, but that's but wait, it wait, genuinely wait. Who, who's who's been whacked <laughs> someone's <laughs> been whacked by Neil Armstrong <laughs> no, no by no, Buzz I think it was I Buzz think it was. the second why is why has he done that someone there's a video of it you've got a video uh, the video's here okay yeah. boom right right so can you tell me what happened now because I can't see the video I can't see it uh, someone was someone was um someone went up to him conspiracy guy yeah outside a building followed him in and then like grabbed the door or tried to follow him in or grabbed his shoulder buzz just turns around and smacks him shit because it, it, he was he was it kept telling him that it wasn't true the moon landing was fake blah 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 oh and, my but God. the point that lux is making is like okay so he got one tweet or a, a few tweets a community a small community yeah. saying okay you're you're part of this conspiracy but imagine if one Calix's lifelong achievement was getting the vaccine, which in his case was stepping on the moon, right? And then the whole time someone is telling you yeah. that what you've done is a fraud, what you've done, yeah. but, and, but not only that, but, but for it to be constant throughout your life, people doubting your one life achievement. Yeah. I'd snap. And then, bro, I would have smacked someone way before That's whenever 100. he did it. Yeah, 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 100. We did the same thing though with Moses. He, well, he, well he, Moses ain't gonna turn around so and bang Mo me in the face. No, but if he did, if we if we did see Moses Please. like tomorrow, and yeah. he and he's seen the podcast, he'd yeah. be pissed. You've just the it's Don's true. parted the Red Sea, and you're just like, nah, fraud nah. watch. Are you think it's fraud watch? Oh, Moses is on fraud. We've already agreed <laughs> yeah, we've he's on fraud watch. <laughs> Moses is doing it. Yeah, he's on fraud watch. Anyway, okay. so I wanted to quickly talk about your vaccine. Yeah. So you got the COVID vaccine, the and and why did you get it before everyone else? Oh uh, yeah, conspiracy. Because, yeah, conspiracy. Thing. I'd like to know. <laughs> Were you paid? Um, no, I just uh, but was ill when I was younger with the uh -huh. leukemia thing and uh, had the government shielding letter. I'm not. I'm not. I'm still not sure whether I was more at risk. Obviously, because I haven't had it and then haven't right. read anything about it because it's just too soon in it for them to have gone yeah this person had leukemia when they were younger therefore he's more at risk right. so i haven't even i don't even know if i deserve it earlier but, but i got you it listen earlier. to the law you got told it's you your time is up step up to the plate so you went out where did was it like a hut that you went to where did you go <laughs> hut. No, no i swear to god bro i swear to god they're posted up like tents like you know like <laughs> glastonbury tents yeah, <laughs> there's a couple of Glastonbury tents <laughs> knocking around London, <laughs> and you walk past it, and it looks like someone from Glastonbury's fucking giving you the giving is you the it, jab. Is, it is don't it, look is it pro. like a lab. Is it like you walk no. in? It's like a lab with white suits on. No, Donnie's there, bro. I swear to God, it looks budget. Is it a big it was syringe budget. with like green stuff at like a vat? It, it, like, look, it was. It was. Um, what is it? So I walk into. So basically, when um, I got sent a text, yeah, big up the government. I got a text. Sent me a text. Yo, what's up, mate? here's a link, click this link, put all your information and I put it in. I was like, oh, am I going to get through? It was like, yeah, where would you like to go? And here are the dates and times. And I was like, where's the closest? It was a chemist. So I was like, okay, what? I'll go to the to the chemist. Boss so man's chemist. <clears throat> Boss man's chemist. <laughs> no <laughs> so way. It's, it's 200 yards away from my home. 
Right. So I, I, I for some reason, uh, queue up in the chemist queue, not knowing that there was no one in the COVID queue. I was just being polite. So I was 20 minutes late and the guy was like, oh mate, like, anyway, almost didn't get it. Walk yeah. in, say no to all their questions and go in and the guy just goes, all right. Um, and he, he picks up, you know, a little thing of it, puts the needle in, fl does the flicky thing. Oh, oh my yeah. days. And uh, I'm, I'm look, I'm see the box that's right there, and I'm like, oh, AstraZeneca. I was like, okay. Did he tell you, or you just saw it? I saw the box. Okay. But then they do give you a bit of paper afterwards, going, you took this, and here's all the. Side that's effects. also known as the Oxford one, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The Brexit one. The Brex. You got the. You, you're. You've been injected with Brexit energy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get any side effects from it? Oh, oh yeah. You really? Yeah, yeah, I was in the bin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and you know what? Yeah, my my dad said to me. Um, People who have had COVID get worse effect side effects. When whereas, you take the whereas, oh, really? and he said that to me like three days later because when I had it, I was like, I put in the chat, I was like, well, good thing is I know that I never had COVID then because I've been hit with like some mad side effects. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you're saying if they if you had had COVID, then you wouldn't have had them side effects as bad. So my dad said, if you had COVID yeah. and say you were asymptomatic and then you got the vaccine, yeah. you have a harsher reaction. Oh, so if you get it, it's like, because you get it like a second time, essentially they're yeah. injecting you with it, right? Yeah. Okay. I think Man. so. Yeah. So if you get it for the second time, essentially what you're saying is it, it gets even worse. That's what my yeah. dad said with the vaccine. Yeah. Whereas before I was like, I mustn't have had it because I've reacted so badly to it. Okay, so maybe you did have it then. So who knows? Yeah, fuck it. We maybe. Might have, that's yeah. the problem. There's so, there's so much misinformation knocking about. It's hard to tell. Exactly. Like, don't even there. listen to me, to be honest. Yeah, fuck I it. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, you 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 had like one or two days of feeling a bit shit, right? Yeah, yeah. I had the had the temperature, which yeah. you know I've had a couple scares like during the last year, being like, oh, I'm a bit hot, uh -huh. but then I was hot. You knew. I you knew. Yeah. yeah, I had COVID running through my veins. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> for yeah. real, for real. So, um, but now yeah, now I'm all right. Apparently, another ten days and it will kick in to you know, give me eighty percent. Yeah, or and sixty percent or your whatever. Second it is dose coming up in April. That's already booked in. Happy days. Nice. Bro. The only bad thing is as well, not to bang on it about this forever, but it's also do you see the South Africa thing? Oh, there's all these I put in the chat. And no. so it's not even like. It, it might not work against you. Oh, yeah. another new strain. Do you know what I mean? Like, we could be just, here it, this is what I'm gonna. This is what I'm saying. It's yeah. It's just long for it's us. It's never all. ending. Bro. Yeah, it's never ending. I'm telling you. Anyway, anyway, move it on. That's the vaccination update. That's the vaccination. Exactly. Oh, Chippo, you had a, We we didn't let you ask your question. Oh that yeah. You wanted to well, ask. since we're talking about such like intellectual subjects and all that, uh -huh. you're in a boat <laughs> okay. with your mum and Ariana Grande, but you can only save one from drowning. That's easy. But whoever you save, you have to pork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's easy. <laughs> Who are you saving? Oh my day! I'm saving Ariana Grande. <laughs> Just straight off the bat, because me and my mom we've had good years together. Yeah, and that I, I'm happy for that. I'm grateful, but now I'll have some good so years gonna, with Ariana you're gonna, Grande. You, you, you're happy to let your mum die. You'd be killing your mum. You want you. You're I, killing your you kill your mum tomorrow. I didn't say that. You're just subconsciously thinking. No, that. No, no, subconsciously, no. no. You have just straight up said you kill your mum. Yeah. Didn't say it with my mouth though, did I? You mm. said it with your heart. Go on, Chip. So you're straight. So for real though, <laughs> on a real one, you're killing your mother so that you can pork Ariana Grande. That is mad. It's more than that. We'd get married. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We'd get married. Yeah, because at that point, I've saved her. I'm mm -hmm. in for the long run. I'm, you know, I'm in for the ride. Who's her boyfriend right now? Don't know, Some, but once I, I save her from that drowning, it'll be me. <laughs> <laughs> ching ching. Cheers for that. <laughs> what are you doing, Lux? Uh, yeah, I'm on a grind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you not? No, nah, look, look, look. Come you, on, you the free for free, baby. Look, look, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the reason why I'm going Ariana Grande is a little bit different, though. The Go reason on. why I'm going Ariana Grande is because, let's say, hypothetically, save your mum, and then you you have to pork your mum, right? Yeah. But after poking your mum, your relationship will be so tapped and so fucking weird. It, it will, it's pointless, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I true. agree with that. It will be yeah, so yeah. like that relationship. You're done now. Like she, ain't no therapy saving you. Nothing no. is saving you from no, that. No, no, no. You're done. So yeah. So I think Ari Ariana Grande survives three out of three times. There. That's pretty. Uh, yeah, yeah. No. It's like you've had a good run, mum. Like. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Finally, but someone else. I've had a good run, yeah. but um, you know, COVID's could have taken you. Instead, Ariana Grande has. Exactly. So. You know, my mum's close to fifty. Ariana Grande is still young. 
Your mom's so young. Your mom's, your mom's young what? one, bro. My mom's young. How, wait, when did your mom have you? Uh, when she was like 18. So how old is she? 40, what, eight? I don't wow. know. Yeah. She's what, paying, she is paying though. She is paying. You're she 30. is a beautiful mother. Is she? she? Is. I'm 26. She is, mate. She's a worldly. I'm 26. She? And she loves wow. a handcuff as well. Uh, yeah, right. Oh, it's all coming did, out on the pod now. Use, she did used to work for the police. Yeah. We oh. spoke about this before, didn't we? Right. She's a fed. Okay. Yeah. PC Larkin. PC Crimes. <laughs> yeah, PC Crimes. <laughs> <laughs> Runs in the family. I'll be out How do you get away with everything then? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> did she watch the pods? Uh, what? Is she retired now or still working? No, no. She's 48, fella. Retired so? from working. Oh, no. Is she still a police oh, officer? Oh, no, no, no. She's like, no, she left police like 10 plus years ago. Um, what, what, what was the other thing you said then? You said, just said remember. something to me. I think you're just trying to get off the topic here. No, I'm not. It was, <laughs> it was, it was about this topic. Uh, I said, uh, I have no idea. Yeah, I you, said, um, you've been caught on a waffle here, bro. <laughs> I swear to God, he said something, Alex. <laughs> I probably okay, did, well, but since... actually, my first drink in ages is going to my it's head going already. To you. Oh, yeah. you know what? It's nice to have someone else absolutely fucking bladded because <laughs> normally it's just me, is like, that that, yeah, blah, 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 blah. how it normally happens. Yeah, does this guy ever get on it? Um, he, he drinks, but he's he, it doesn't he, really soak in, does no, it? No, he just he sips, he's more of a sipper. Oh, you, yeah, should, you should see him when he pauses the Sambuca shots. <laughs> there was one of the top comments about two weeks ago, no, last one, wasn't it? This guy. <laughs> me, me, him, and Will yeah. were sat there. Sambuca alarm's gone off. Yeah. He starts pouring the shots. He, he's definitely poured me a double shot. He's poured Will, whatever, and he's given himself a smidge. Top comment caught him right out. Really? Yeah. Nice. Cal, Cal on fraud watch. <laughs> and then he had the cheek. <laughs> the cheek. The disrespect. <laughs> when I didn't do it in one goal because it was so much, he's gone, oh, he's not done it. I was there like. <laughs> At the end of the day, Chip, <gasps> quoted by a very famous man on this podcast, the game's the game, fella. The, yeah. The game is yeah, true. Yeah, the game is the game. All right, well, um, speaking of the game, um, we're here to make some bread because all of our shit keeps getting demonetized. Mm -hmm. And guys, honestly, it's going to get to the point where we're actually going to have to do a fucking whip around. Oh, wait, <laughs> really? Everyone's going to need to have a to chuck- A whip around? That sounds- Kinky. Quite, quite good. Um, well, we all need like a quid or two off you guys. So um, until we <laughs> end up doing that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just bang out this ad on a real- It's been a long time. A long it's been time. some serious shit. Crazy You called stuff. me a good flatmate the other day. You said yeah. I'm solid. Yeah, I, yeah, I appreciate you are. that. I think he would be solid. You give Very me, strong you give, me, you give me solid vibes. Uh-huh. Like, I like just, that. Yeah. It's a big compliment. You, big you, you, you give me, and take this whichever way you want, fella, yeah, daddy, but you give me Theo Baker vibes as a flatmate. Oh. Yeah. I don't know what that means. I've he never lived with Theo. Theo is a good flatmate. He is yeah. a good flatmate. He does his what, own clean? thing. He's funny. He likes to clean up. You know, he does his own thing. He's, he's, and you know, if you're in the pits, he's, he'll comfort you. Put his hand on your shoulder. That's. So, I'd say that's what I'm good for. Yeah, yeah but, uh, that's I, the vibe I get. What what I would do uh, is I, I would come home. I'd probably <laughs> smashed, um, and then I would just go sit in his room. Like he would be lying in bed, and you could tell he was he just didn't want anyone to be in his he room. Just like, and it's just me. Off. I'm just, I'm you, yeah, and I'm just sat in his room, steaming, just on his chair, and I'm just waffling at him yeah. for, for like yeah. hours. And you can just see him like on his laptop, like yeah, 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 what, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, no, yeah. no. Half the time I put my laptop away. Yes, that's no, true. No, 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 because I knew that like. When you come into my room and you're bevved and you want to chat, there's something there that needs to come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was ready to talk. Um, <laughs> That's good though. No, it, it, good. it was sick. And to be fair, if there was one thing about our uh, time living together, we, we always put on a mad party, a really yeah, always. Yeah, yeah. But no, yeah. I can barely take credit for that, man. That's on you. Yeah, but it, it was, it was, you know, the parties wouldn't happen without the consent and the and the encouragement from the rest of the flatmates. Obviously, Harry was was up for it, and then Lux was uh, approved of my antics back then because yeah, there yeah. was I was out like almost every night for like two years straight, mm -hmm. and then yeah, it and was I, I was thinking that I was thinking that like, fuck that would piss me off if someone was doing that and I wasn't out, but then I was like, oh whatever. It was there all good. No, it no honestly, good. it was it was fine. Look at apart apart from the time where you you came into my yeah, my you room can tell that the, story. You yeah, but I've not heard it on here yet. Heard, no, 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 you can tell that story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with I'm with a girl. Um, oh god. Yeah. Um, we're seeing each other. She's travelled over from the US. She's a she's an international woman. Oh yeah. shit. And uh, we're you know, we've had a couple stressful nights in a row. You know, there's a woman that's like collapsed outside the front of of where we used to live, and foxes oh. were trying to attack her and her and her yeah. dog. Oh, really shit. weird one so i had to call the ambulance yeah. she was then racist to the ambulance people the it was a madness should have let them foxes do the thing i know I, I i do regret it in the end yeah <laughs> um uh so 
Yeah, so um, we'd had a couple stressful nights and then we'd gone to bed a little bit early. Cal's come home. He's gone to bed. But then about, I don't know, 2, 3 a.m. I've gone to bed peppered. He's, yeah, he's absolutely smashed. We heard him come in. You know, you, you can always hear a drunken Cal Freezy come through the door. <laughs> and um, yeah, we're, we're asleep. I hear my door open. So I'm like, oh, fuck. Like immediately perk up. Yeah, the other girl immediately perked up. Cal walks into the room and uh, was completely naked. He had his wait, willy wait. out. My, my blinds were open though. So the street light was like glimmering onto <laughs> oh, his willy. <laughs> what was it like? It was it was all right. Yeah, it was it was it was, it was it was it was acceptable. Yeah, he, he's not. He I was wasn't... talking about a situation. Oh right, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about a cock. I just... No, no, no. You know, it wasn't. No, you know, it's not. In that because he wasn't hard. Yeah. Thankfully. Yeah, that would have um, been even stranger. Actually, that if I came mad. in with a rock on, that would have been mate. That would have been crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, he comes in, but then he <laughs> he goes into my bathroom first, and then cut, and then no, no, no. Yeah, no, no, no. No, he comes, he comes into the, the main room, uh, stands there, walks back, goes into my bathroom, takes a piss, um, comes back out and then uh, like climbs onto my bed completely naked. And th you're, you and that bird are in bed. Yeah, we're in bed. Oh, and you and I've jumped in. You probably haven't like shaken properly. There's probably little- <laughs> Piss dribblings. Little piss dribblings like, <laughs> on my bed. Uh -huh. uh, and then I was like, Cal, Cal, like actually panicking being like, yeah. mate, what like, What's going on? Yeah, she, yeah, I, yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. So then we're like, cow, cow. And you're like, oh, you're like, oh, okay. All right. But you don't really say sorry. Like you're sleepwalking. Yeah, yeah. Straight yeah. up. And then you go back into your room and that was it. I'll tell you the next day, you don't remember a thing. I don't remember it bro, at all. And still to this day, I don't remember it happening. But have you ever done that? Because there's been a couple of times I've gone through the Harry's room when I've completely started naked. Like it's mad. I know. I, I've ne I never walk around naked. Really? No, I need everything confined and in its space where it's meant to be. You know what be. I've started doing recently? Sleeping naked. I hate it. I feel like I'm going to shit myself. <laughs> 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 honestly, <laughs> lad, honestly, when I'm asleep, when I'm asleep or, or, you know, I've just smashed a bird or whatever, yeah. and I'll end up falling asleep because I'm hammered and I've got no boxes on, I have to wake up and get boxes on because I feel like I'm actually going to... I feel like my ass is too free. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like I'm... People are weird, I feel you know. like I'm on the toilet about to grab a poo. So I will make sure I get some boxes on. I can't do it. Yeah, that's so funny. No, man. I'm I I'm I'm good with that. But what you know, you, normally your 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 knobs like in like I get that 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 separation that is it's a really weird feeling. Yeah, it is. But it's quite nice. You you live a you live alone now, so yeah. you have that security. Yeah, but I do, I am shook about like someone breaking in or like and you just got your knob happening. out running around like oh get get yeah, out my house. I've gone to grab a knife and yeah. and my knobs out and it's like it's trying to take me seriously. You like, went to grab a knife and your knob was out. No, and I'm saying oh, I would oh, if someone break into my house, I'd go grab a knife and I'd be prepared to. Yeah, I think, it's, I think that's illegal, you know. What? No, in this country, be. it is. To well, defend to kill yourself. someone. In yeah, your, I think so. Yeah. Oh, to kill someone. You, oh, I thought you meant to defend. Surely yourself. that's a bit of self-defense. Yeah, I thought that too, but someone told me different. Mm. Let me get a fact. But I would like. I'm saying if you you're getting stabbed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we we've had some. We had some weird instances. I mean, I remember someone actually came into um, our flat in Halo, where we used to live. Oh yeah. Um, and it was really weird. So I went, uh, I was just chilling in bed and I heard the door open, but I already knew Harry and Lux were in the house. And I knew Harry was in bed. So, cause Harry would often just like go across cause Gib lived real close. Um, and so I knew it wasn't Harry and I was like, it's not like, so I just want to wait there. And I heard someone take like two or three steps into our house. Mm. And then I'm thinking, what the hell? So the way my room was like sort of set up, I had to get out of bed to look down the hallway. And I looked down the hallway and there's just a geezer standing there. And I'm talking, by the way, I'm talking about a geezer. Oh, I'm talking <laughs> about a guy that would beat the fuck out of me. What, right? in, ha in the Halo in, flat? Yeah, 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 yeah in our old flat, yeah. Yeah, and the guys just stood there, and it, there's a moment where we just we made eye contact, and I think, I'm I he I have no chance against this man, um, and he just looks at me and he goes, "Oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong flat," yeah. like that, and I'm thinking, "All right, okay," that's all all I said, and he just turns around and walks out the door, and I, and I've gone. Was I just about to get robbed or like? No, I think because I, right? I think that's because I've done that before yeah. in Halo. 
I've walked into the wrong flat. Right, right, right. In the exact same spot when we come out of the flats. And it happened to me the other night, and I'm assuming it's the same situation. I was just sat on my sofa watching whatever. Yeah. In the darkness at yeah. like 10 p.m. And I always locked my door, and the door just went boom, boom, boom. Someone trying to get in. And I've just gone, oh, no. no. Yeah. And I've got up, gone to the door, opened it, and all I see is the fire exit, which is opposite my door, just closing. Ah, uh, them ones, yeah, So they've obviously that. gone to the wrong floor. I'd like to think. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Another thing that happened to me last night on, uh, so I've had to take all the fire alarms off in my flat now. Why? Because they're all fucked. So I went out and bought new batteries for them. No. Last night, 4 a.m., I'm asleep. <laughs> what happens? <laughs> the fire alarms all just start going off. And when one goes off in the flat, they're all connected, so they all go off. Oh, man. And That's 4 a.m. Imagine how scared I was. I was like, <gasps> I've had to get up and I've, you, had, I've had to get up and yeet the thing off at 4 a.m. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. To, but get, uh, to continue my story, but yeah, there was on. a bit of closure to it, if you will, because I, uh, I, the next day I'm in the lift and it goes, to, whether down one or up one, and a, a, a guy comes in and we're, we're both stood there and going down. And he goes, are you guys living on floor, blah, blah, blah? And I was like, yeah. And he's there like, what are those? Uh, do you guys make adult films in uh, there? Yeah. And I go, adult films? What, like porn? And he goes, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, he's like, I walked into your flat yesterday <laughs> by accident oh. and I saw these lights over your bed. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking, oh my God, this is the guy. He, he, he's the yeah, same yeah. build. All I saw was like the silhouette of him and it was him. And he thought that the lights that I used to uh, make YouTube videos in there, cause they're obviously in your bedroom. He's thought that they were used for like a port, like my bedroom was a porno oh set. My God. And I, I had to explain to him, I was like, no, no, no. He's like, oh yeah, sorry about that the other night, man. I literally watched him. But to this day, I mean, it could have been an amazing cover up from him, but to this day, do you know what though? I don't know. Do you remember that? Because remember the flat exactly above us mm -hmm. and what and what went on in well, there. Well, it was them that came in, walked in. Yeah. It was that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And you remember? You could, you, tell them. Yeah, it was yeah. like it was. Um, they got raided, right? Yeah. Wait, what? The flat the, above us got raided in Halo just yeah, before for, Ethan for, um, moved in. Oh yeah. 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 So got raided for um, drugs and stuff. So they were growing drugs in there. Uh -huh. What? So the guy, the geezer that Cal's talking about, was like a drug overlord. Just basically went to the wrong floor. Yeah. Um, but walked into ours, and little did we know. But they used to have parties and stuff up there. Uh huh. I used to hear some mad stuff from yeah, from we above did. us. Used to hear actually, some crazy yeah. Shit, actually. Um, but then but they got raided and yes. kicked out of the of 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 Halo. And then Bez moved in. And then Bez moved in. <laughs> oh, because Bez was one flat above. above. Yeah, 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 it was literally floor to floor. So wow. it was mad. We had a setup in Halo, you know. Oh, it was mad. We had all the YouTubers living in there. Halo was good, but here's the one thing that was shit about it. And because you used to live agree. in the building as well. Yes. If you guys don't and know, I... Halo was the name of the building that we lived yes. in. Yes. Yeah. Um, and there was lots of us. There was probably yeah. at one point probably like six or seven different flats in there. All With like multiple yeah. YouTubers there was a lot in of each YouTubers flat. Living in there. Yeah. Um, but the one thing about Halo that sucked was it's a flat with complete glass floor to ceiling in pretty much every room, and there was no AC. Yeah. Yeah. So when you got to the summer, it was fucking curtains you had mm -hmm. your computer on trying to edit a video and your computer's blowing up and you're dying yeah. you are dying yeah i hated that about that that's the that's like how did they not think of that like i know it's not even it's like such it's, a an, simple it's not fix. an old building either no. it came no, it, was it made, came it was during made the whole for the olympics, olympics. The it was made for the yeah. olympics yeah. yeah so i just don't understand neither it's it like was, that that place it could have been incredible if they just yeah. had like really sick ac yeah yeah if i had ac it would be Top notch. Probably wouldn't have even left at the time I left. Yeah, it was Halo good. share price has just gone down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, sorry about that. <laughs> it, it wasn't great. I'm, I'm, I'm glad we moved out of there. And then um, we moved to probably one of the nicest houses I think I, I, I might ever live in. Is I, I hope not. Is this the one that you had on the river? Yeah, on yeah. the river. Yeah. We won't say too much more, but yeah, we we, we lived Hopper. on the river. And honestly, you know, we had what was it like a three could it be, uh, a three bedroom place. It had a cinema room. It was on the river. The views are undefeated. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it had a rooftop. Bro, the parties that we held in that place were Bangers. phenomenal. Bangers. Like we had, you know- I don't think anyone's ever thrown a better party. Like the, the Sidemen yeah. house one was was good. It was, it was all right. But that's because the ha like what we turned our house into and the vibes of yeah. our new year party that year 
were insane. We had people throwing up in my bath. It was all oh, <laughs> a fucking mess, bro. That's how you know that Donnie's party, life. Though. Yeah, that turned him onto his side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, literally, it was it was a shambles. But that house right there, banger. But this, we had some crazy stories about that one too. And I don't know if we can like say it in terms of demonetization. But you know the time where you walked in my room, you're like someone's done something. Oh can yeah, we, I, I don't think we should talk about, about that. that. I got. Uh, I mentioned that in my November video, and they asked it to cut it. Cut yeah, it out, so, so we we, we, won't, we won't say it. But, but because there's a big trigger warning but some of you guys might have a guess at what happened but yeah, yeah. um we had uh, mad stuff like that we had a guy try and steal from the flat like hey. steal steal our uh post to take our identity and he's recently been oh uh, yeah arrested he's on the run hey he, hey yeah hey. he's on the run what yeah. i never heard this one yeah 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 detective lux here guy no no it was all you <laughs> oh well yeah yeah no, yeah it was all this guy yeah. to my left because the guy's on the run yeah. it was all <laughs> <laughs> um yeah like this guy right up, like near us moving out starts just stealing our post and we've got we've got rings so you don't have to you don't have to like press the doorbell for it to turn on it's cctv it's with a motion sensor yeah so yeah. he he was thinking like he would like fake press it but Little does he know that it's already recording. Yeah. So he takes the post, walks off, tries to open up bank accounts in my name and probably Cal's name as well. Yeah. And uh, in the end, I've got like six videos and I just send it to the police. And then they catch- We, th we thought nothing was gonna happen. Yeah. No. We were there like, this is bollocks. Like, th they're never gonna do anything. Like, it, It's not serious enough for them to do. But I mean, it is serious because like, uh -huh. it's identity fraud or whatever it is. Yeah. But yeah. And then they, they catch him and I was like, oh shit. Wow. And then they were like, hey, do you, like, we might ask you to come to court. I was like, oh, please no, please no. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't no, like, no, that is just drop the fucking charges. Too much stress. Honestly, Love like, that. I know it's like snitching, but like, you're gonna, you're trying to steal my peas. Like, yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's like on the one side, it's like, I want you to get caught, told off, fined, whatever. But like, I'd, I'm not gonna be there being like, he's, he's the uh, one that yeah, did yeah, it. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. like, have people come after me. But anyway, he's on the run now. Ah, yeah, because well, he got post. put on bail. He must have been put on bail. No, he something. just didn't turn up to his court date. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. So there you go. But yeah, we had Big that. Up if you're out there, just don't steal any more of but our But what was interesting was uh, the reason why I initially found out that someone was doing this was because one of our neighbors came over to oh, me yeah. and she said, um, I'm pretty sure there was a guy that walked over here, reached in your letterbox and thingy. And I was there like, oh, okay. Yeah, we'll take a look at the, the CCTV. Um, and she goes, yeah, I mean, uh, I'm a police officer. So if you need any, need anything, just let me know, which was insane. Um, Didn't I, nick him at the time yeah, I, though, I did thinking, you? Yeah, I was thinking, I was thinking, <laughs> surely you could have just come down and told yeah, him. Yeah, put that post back, mate. Yeah. Here's my badge. In it. Like, but she did it to be fair she's a, she's a, i think she's like a detective or like some, ooh, something like that she's pretty cool well, i'm pc crime so PC, yeah you know, I, we'll get her on the uh, was the that the thing that you're in love with no oh, not, me, not me not me not me Cal don't fall she, in she, love, she, 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 it, what would happen is because <laughs> our house was at the end of the road and um we in like a cul-de-sac and she and she would she would like be working from home so she would look out the window and then she she would see she'd hold me in a little wave. I would give her a little wave there. And then one time I came I came back so peppered with my friend Jack, <laughs> like we were by red wine to the gills. And then we see in her house that there we didn't know she was a police officer at the time, by the way, which is mental now that I think about it. <laughs> but uh, I'm walking back and I'm thinking, you know, we had a good night, but it wasn't great. And I go to Jack. I go, Jack, should we just go see if we can just like jump in on this party? So I walk up into it and uh, I knock on the thing. We stick our heads in um, and we go, yeah, right, guys, right, anything going on here? We've had a bit of a crap night. Um, and they were like, yeah, it's our friend's birthday. And then I was like, oh, okay, cool. So we sit down, we're, we're just drinking loads of wine, get absolutely smashed. Um, Don't you bring some back to our house? Yeah, then I brought- Because I was, yeah. this was one time where I was in bed like- <laughs> Wait, uh, but can I just check? This is uh, the gaff the of you the first moved officer. out after after this Halo. is the yeah, river yeah, yeah. the river gaff and it's, it's next yeah river gaff next yeah. door yeah yeah yeah, so, yeah next door neighbor okay yeah, yeah, okay yeah. just clarifying yeah, yeah. carry on um, we brought them back to <laughs> yeah <laughs> but it's it, bro it's a it's a, it's a working night yeah. <laughs> no because well, it's place a working is way night it's a, it's a it's a probably a Tuesday. There's no yeah. Tuesday. It's a minute. It's a where'd you go? Ministry of Def or not Ministry? Of ministry. I went to the Ministry of Defense. The Ministry of Defense was it one of those? Ministry of Sound. I don't know. On a Tuesday. Yeah. 
Tuesday. It was a Tuesday. Yeah. It was. It was oh. one of those days, and I was like, probably oh, probably got a meeting at nine a.m. in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I do apologize. It's four a.m. <laughs> And there's people clarting around upstairs. Uh huh. Just like this guy off his rocker. I brought back like the whole party and I was like, look, our place is How rocking. How old were they? Like 30s. 30s, I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I know them ones where yeah. you're just absolutely <laughs> off your nut and you're yeah. chatting to some 30 year old about how Pep Paddy always changed football. <laughs> 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 them ones. Yeah, it was that essentially. So that, yeah, that was mad. I'm just trying to think. Like, we had lots of bits and pieces. That was a fun place to live anyways. But. It was a great place to live. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now you live on your own. Now I live on my and, own. And you are, you showed me a picture of what you're planning to do. You're renovating it big yeah. time, right? It's fucking long. That's going to be exciting. It's, it's really exciting. Too. And I'd love, I'd lo I, I, I want it to happen. Mm -hmm. But like COVID has just been really long. I also no rush if you own the place though. No, it's but there is rush. because I just want to get it done. I want to be like super proud of. Thank you. Yeah, you want to live in a I'll, nice place. Yeah, right? I, w yeah. I want it to. I want it to look as if I want it to look how it is in my dreams. Yeah, right now. Uh huh. And it's possible. It's still very nice so right now. So why haven't you? Why haven't you? Because why is it not fixed? Um, it costs a lot of peas, by the way. Lots it costs a lot of peas, like but there's like. There's a couple people that I'm speaking to at the moment that could make it cost less if I were, because I've got these big plans of making these videos, which you were getting onto me about the other day. Yeah. That I haven't uploaded them yet. Of like six, say the six room, five or six rooms in my flat, like making a whole video of like before and after, like really satisfying, Ooh. like home improvement yeah. renovation video. I like them. I see them on TikTok where, you know, they'll, mm. they'll show like a little white bathroom in a two bedroom council house. Next thing you know, it's like it's I'm a in mansion. Dubai. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's yeah. True. That's what I want, basically. Mm -hmm. And because I've got these videos, obviously, like there's an opportunity to get something sponsored or get or work with the company to just do the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've been trying to do, but it's just been really slow. Yeah, yeah. But you're getting and there. part of me is like. I'll just pay for it. Yeah. Well, you know no, what? but I'll the idea you had there of getting brands to do it is good. Like you can promote. It's long though that. Yeah, promote it DHS's is sale and shit. Uh, what? D D BHS? DHS. 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 You know that sale that's been going on for yeah. about 20, 20 years. years. <laughs> is that what they're called? DHS? DFS? Yeah, I was like, wait. Now even though it's slung me. DF the DFS sale, 20% off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that one has been on every day. <laughs> the Christmas sale. It's a classic. Christmas all year round at DFS, man. <laughs> guaranteed things in life. Taxes, death, <laughs> and the DFS, DFS sale. sale. <laughs> but what I can guarantee is that when my place is done, it will be the best YouTube gaff you've ever I've seen. I've seen the pictures all and I can say that he, big, is not, big he is not lying. For myself. He's yeah. not lying. It will look really good. Hopefully, yeah. we'll see. Hopefully in the next month, we'll get it started. And then I wanted to get it done by my birthday, but that's- When's your birthday? 11th of March. No chance. Oh, that's pretty close. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, we've got two months to renovate Probably. an entire gaff. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. looking to potentially- yes. I want to I I cop myself a gaff. So hopefully at the end of this year as well. Um, and that's why guys remember, give me your money. Yeah. Uh, because I need a, a, a dope place to live in. And um, so yeah, anyways, I've got, I'm keeping an eye on that. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else coming up towards the end of the year. I mean, throughout the year, why don't we talk a little bit about um, the crepes? Because that's obviously the- I did um, have a question if you want to go onto the no two ways. I actually had a question. I did write it down as well, but I already know off the top of my head. I wanted to ask, so obviously it's just crepes right now. Yeah. You've ever got any plans to take it somewhere else? Like, are you going to bring out hoodies or is it just going to solely stay as a you trainer can, you're gonna brand. reveal his big big plan here bro i'm not really anything you don't have to say anything no 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 it's all good no i've got, I got an I answer am personally, prepared. i'm personally interested to know this I yeah yeah this. uh so i think the thing that people forget or i don't i don't know why because mm -hmm. it's interesting that you ask that question right mm -hmm. but you have to bear in mind that like that we've only released two creps uh -huh. and it's like we're already getting that question which is which is crazy I think I know why though. Go on. Because it's a lot, there's a big difference between uh, between only releasing two pairs of crepes and maybe two drops of hoodies. There's a very big difference in that. Yeah. That is way bigger. You know, you've designed an entire crepe, sold it, sold it out, then gone and designed another crepe and then sold that. And there's a lot of goes into that. We could turn a hoodie around in a, a very quick time. Yeah. That takes a long time. How long did it take for that first pair of trainers? Uh, probably like four, four, four and a half months before we got into the design. So that was just like Rocky teaching me about trends and go, we went to, before coronavirus, we went to Linear Pele in London to like look at what the trends would be in summer 2021. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we basically built a shoe that 
that was a year ahead of its time in terms of fashion. That's, that's why you see there's a lot of orange in there. Mm -hmm. And you see that now there's a lot of brands coming. It's, it's summer orange, 2021 yeah. or spring 2021. And that's kind of what we're moving into now. But we just wanted to, at the time, do something that would be in fashion because we knew that we were gonna stay with the same silhouette for ages. But to answer your question, um, I think like one day, because I wanna be on a catwalk, right? Mm -hmm. And the only- as in, as in Calux walking the catwalk or no two no. ways being featured on- Yeah, I wanna be on like London Fashion Week. Right, 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 right. I wanna be London Fashion Week. But if no, you, no, if you, you will though, because I swear the designer always comes out at the end of the catwalk. Oh, and, and he goes, yeah. thank you everyone yeah, for coming. Virgil, yeah. Virgil shake, shaking Cal Freezy's hand on the side. <laughs> you know, yo Cal, thank you so much for being there from the beginning. Give us a little walk, yeah. shake your hips a little. It's a dream, right? It's a dream. Uh, yeah. But basically what happens is with the, like we only make shoes at the moment, but you can't, well, here's an idea that we had was actually doing a London Fashion Week show, but people only wearing the shoes. Mm -hmm. And then either there's some sort of- What, well, um, like naked and then yeah, they're just wearing the shoes? Either there's some sort of, I'm giving away all my ideas and I please don't steal them. <laughs> uh, some sort of like opaque window that covers their crotch in, yeah. in terms of like eye line to catwalkers. Right, right. But you can see the shoes, but you can kind of, that's just blocked off. Oh, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. we have a couple it's of a ideas shoe about how to make it make That's it happen. A very good idea. Could you say that one more time? <laughs> <laughs> I really, but the good news is by you saying it now, yeah, it's true. you will I now have it. video, well, you, you yeah, video own proof. it, but you have video proof. So if anyone gets out, you'd be like, you look at this yeah. shit. I don't, it's never been done before. Looking at well, you, then, Virgil. Yeah, you little snake. 50 quid or whatever it is. <laughs> <laughs> Two Virgils. <laughs> Two Virgils. <laughs> 100 quid. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, well, allow, oh, allow, I don't want to go into that actually. But yeah, so, so yeah, the dream is to be on a catwalk. But if we don't do this crazy idea where people are naked mm -hmm. and they have this opaque thing around, then it's like they do need clothes on top. So something that people do is, uh, what are you? Wearing? I got some Crocs hoodies for you if you want. So if Crocs hoodies had a London Fashion Week spot, we could then take the, we could be their oh, shoe sponsor for like that. Almost like a oh, collaboration for yeah. the that, show. Oh, does yeah. that, do they actually do that? Yeah, and then what happens is normally it's that it's before the brands start working together or it's their first crep that they've made that then goes oh, on sale. Okay. So it's almost like if you've got a collab with, if I collabed with Off-White, I know they make shoes, but yeah. then they'd wear no two ways and then those no two ways yeah. would be released. The off-white no to wear, yeah. Ooh, that's got a ring to it. So I want to be on London Fashion Week. To answer your question, long-winded, but I'd love to be there one day. And if we do, then we need something on the top half, mm -hmm. unless we do my crazy idea. Yeah. So more stuff is coming. Rocky's made some hats. Just Actually, so everyone, just to, so everyone knows, yeah. Rocky is the other guy that you work on no to ways with. Yeah, like like Rocky's lead designer. lead designer. He can work Illustrator. I can't. Yeah. I do everything else: money, finance, marketing, marketing, He's a creative director. Oh, everything out yeah. we do we do everything together but i'd say he when we were together before coronavirus we were designing together and now it's like just kind of like update me every couple of days and so on yeah. um so yeah that's hopefully soon there'll be some hats mm -hmm. we've got socks coming with the third drop i like no socks. Nice. That yet. Yeah. Nice. you know i do like socks obviously i stole about 100 quid worth of your socks you did Yep. Decent now. Okay, yeah. well, actually, uh, before we continue talking about No Two Ways, uh, since you guys already suck you it interrupted in. Suckered it, you suckered interrupted in. our sock combo for yeah, a brand deal. Absolutely, because we need this bread. He's getting his <laughs> bread. Yeah, we need our bread. We need our bread. <laughs> okay. Actually, Lux um, can sort of relate to this because Lux actually speaks one other language. We've got a, a language out. What's the uh, language that you speak? What, German. German. Give, give what? us a bit of German. Uh, ich bin ein Einzelkind. Whoa. That means the fellow's podcast, podcast is, is unreal. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, um, uh, ich wohne in the Bahnhof mit mein Mutter und mein Katze. Thank you. Yes. Thank you I so know, much. Chip has been working on his trim lately. It looks good. Thank you. No yeah. problem. Yeah, that's about it. That's it. Wir stehen auf. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, everyone, that's saying like and subscribe now if you haven't mm -hmm. already. But if you guys want to be as good as Lux is at German, then you can go ahead and check out our good friends over at Babbel. You know about them, man. Come on, Babel. they're back Come for on, more. Babel. All right, here we go. So, guys, if you want to make a deeper connection with other people, whether that be going on a holiday or whatever, and not just knowing the very basics, a lot like Lux, really. You know, uh -huh. he has a deeper knowledge of the German language. Um, 
then make sure you go ahead and check out Babbel. Um, not only that, but they have French, Spanish, Italian as well. Um, and it can get you all prepped up for your post-COVID trip, which we're all looking... Uh, very much forward to. Uh, not only that, but it teaches real life conversations that you learn through interactive dialogue. Speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation and accent. Uh, once again, just think back to that um, David Moyes clip of him managing. <laughs> <laughs> um, not only that, but Babbel has recently launched their own learning podcast. So you can brush up on your Spanish or French while cooking or exercising. We love that. Um, and of course, there's 14 different languages to choose from Spanish, French, Italian, German, etc. Mm -hmm. um, the teaching method has been proven to be effective across multiple studies. We love some science. Uh, Babbel is available as an app or online. And your progress will be synced across all devices. So, guys, if that does interest you, then you can get yourself six months free cool. with a six-month purchase. Oh, um, you guys can use that using the promo code FELLAS. Go to babble.co.uk forward slash play and use the promo code FELLAS on your six-month subscription. Jesus, he's good at that, isn't he? He is good. He's very uh, can good I just it. say that... Um, the, the the two lines that I know in German are such good icebreakers. So if you are going abroad, what did you actually say? I said "Ich bin ein Einzelkind," which is "I'm an only child." Right. Well, so if sounds... someone says they're German, I just go "Ich bin ein Einzelkind," and then they just every single time without fail they burst out laughing. <laughs> I'm an only child. I'm an only child. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> then they're like, "What the <laughs> fuck? Like, why do you know that?" And I'm like, "That's the only thing I know in German." And then it's just like, <laughs> oh, so you. You can or I can't speak. I can't speak. Can't speak shit, the way mate. he said it, though, I was like, right, yeah. But yeah, well, I got some decent pronunciation from, you know, uh, recognition on, yeah, yeah. on certain apps. Yeah. 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 And, and what's the other sentence that you say? Ich wohne in die Bahnhof mit mein Mutter und mein Katze. Which means? I live in the train station with my mum and cat. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is phenomenal. What? Look, look, you need the icebreakers in different languages, mate. I'm, I highly recommend it. That Go is, skiing. That is a great idea. You meet a German lass. Yep. Uh huh. Drop that on her. Bang. Job done. So let's get back into the uh, the uh, uh, not to work, uh, the NTW. Yeah. The NHS creps. Um, you <laughs> <laughs> is that a cancer joke? <laughs> Oh. Man, I was only a matter of time until oh. fucking he dropped he the does this to He does. He, he loves always, it. He always goes. He, he feeds off it. NHS. Out and, of then, and then I'll be stood there like. I didn't mean it, bro. And he goes, I was joking. And then you just say that. Go on, hit me. So you've got a um, new pair coming yeah. out, or yeah. at least a new colorway yeah. um, with some, some tweaks. Obviously, I follow the Instagram, so you're actually very transparent, uh, which is probably why a lot of people enjoy following the, following the journey. Um, and yeah, do, can you, first of all, tell me what fucking color... Have you told people what color yet? I don't know when this pod's coming out, mate. Uh, in a uh, week's time, exactly yeah, one week. week today. I don't know if it's going to be revealed. Oh, did, 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 did. okay. You don't have to say what color, but it's a new colorway. Anyway. Yeah, it's a new right. colorway. Can you but can you say what changes you made to the actual crepe? Because I think I've seen that already. Yeah, on yeah, yeah. So oh, you've made uh, changes to the actual shape. Yeah. Not, not, no, nah. Well, it's just like you. improved. So okay. um, we've got we've got this we've got a footbed now underneath. So you take out the insole. You might I put it on my close friend's story. Mm -hmm. If you saw it, uh, I hope you're both on there. I think we are. <laughs> no, you are, you I are. I don't think I've seen this, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Um, so uh, underneath, if you pick out the insole now, you've got like a lovely new uh, footbed, which is one of the most comfortable footbeds in existence. Mm -hmm. Plus it's got some no two ways um, branding on it. Ooh. And there's only a handful of crepes that have ever been, that have ever used this before. And one of them was like, some mad a thousand one. pounds or something like oh, that right, rocky okay. told me yeah so wait the, the footbed not the branding the branding's been done before the branding but... on the footbed oh, on okay. that specific oh and having that well the putting the branding on a footbed yeah is only been done by a handful of brands before got you the footbed itself makes it feel like it's an ultra boost oh very nice and we know yeah i know that's that's a even BTS Alex there just gave the nod of the head. He <laughs> likes the sound of that a lot, um, despite his questionable crepes right now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, there's a, basically every single shoe that we release is an improvement on the last. It's like a learning. Mm -hmm. um, so this one is super, super comfortable. The last one was like waterproof because it was released in the winter time. It was... Are these next ones also waterproof? They're not... I, I'm as far as I'm aware... Because we, we went through a thing where I was like, are they actually waterproof? And while I stood in many a puddle, 
and didn't get any water in, I yeah. think you're not allowed to call them waterproof. Ah, uh, because, you know I mean? because unless you take them 100 meters under the water and they don't come up dry, exactly. it doesn't count. Yeah. What about water resistant? They are mm. very water resistant. We'll take that. On the yeah. Fellas yeah. podcast, we'll take that. I'll very, take that. very. This is the thing that's like, I can confidently stand behind the product as well when like speaking about it. Yeah. It isn't just some like, you're not shilling up thing. I'm not shilling a, a coin. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. like, like these shoes, Rocky is a fucking legend. They are sick. They, they are, are really, good. really sick. Mm -hmm. And now on this third iteration of a lighter shade yeah. of colorway, yeah. uh, they are the, the best yet. Okay. Um, so they're always getting better. E always each, getting better. Each thing. Um, and is this the is this the the last of this colorway, or can we get more colorways? So hello. We're getting all. <laughs> out of We're getting all. The, the, the thing is, the thing is, I know the answer to some of these questions. Oh, but I'm you just, dog! I'm, I'm, one, I'm one for the people. Hey, I'm one look, for the hey, we, look. We need clips. We need yeah, one a day. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so give us a clip. So is this the last colorway you'll be doing? Or also, you owe me a pair of the black ones. You little shit. I ain't got my black ones and you said I was getting them. Yeah, mate, he has this problem with like so many people. <laughs> the worst. No, but I was on your back for it and I still don't have them. There's 50 shoe boxes in my living room that I should be in 50 separate houses. I'm important. Okay? I know, I know, I know. But it's just because there's so many, so I just don't attack the problem. Anyway, Anyways. I apologize. Yo, let him answer my question. You know what? Bro. I'm not. That's what I was looking for. An apology. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> angry. I'm just disappointed. I'm disappointed. Nah, it's all right. Go on, carry on. Yes, so some exclusive information then Cal Freezy because mm -hmm. you already know like. the fucking answer uh -huh. uh, one two three of the same silhouette that's mm -hmm. what we call them and then I think there's going to be a different silhouette because a whole people, new crap that's what the people want yeah. but that doesn't mean that there won't be different colorways in silhouette no, one to come Later do you know what I'm saying yeah, 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 yeah. but it's probably going to go one two three and then new one is four uh, and then maybe multiple creps for yeah, release yeah, yeah. five. Ooh, who knows? That's exciting. That it's is really exciting. exciting you know? I can confirm, yeah, right, that the next silhouette, if you want to call it, the, the next crep, realistic, we're moving creps now. The, the, the next one. Next shape. My personal favorite. Oh, really? I think it's, be I think it's better. What is it I think like? it's a little bit I've only I've only seen like the prototype, like version one. So there's obviously version so one's mad as well. It like looks it's good. It looks good, but I don't. I don't want to talk so too much. I'll show you a photo. I'll show you a photo. Yeah. I don't want to show too much because then I know the pe uh, people are listening. Like, you, it's pointless fucking talking about this. Yeah, I can't they see get it. pissed so, in it. Yeah, no, I get that. I get um, that. But no, that's all very exciting, and it sounds like you're gonna make a lot of money as with it as well. Which hopefully, is fantastic. hopefully. Are you looking to? Are you looking to grow the? The people that work there, because right now just you and Rocky, am I right in saying that? And yeah, maybe um, a bit of help. Also, uh, just brought on board uh, gonna... it's okay, the old the old at play well. Siroc. Um, we've just brought on Rich Richard, yeah, who I've worked closely with under like managing like Calix, and then I co-founded After Party with him, and now hopefully if he's interested, he'll come on board for No Two Ways as well because he's he's himself sold. A business for 55 million five years ago base 79 i used to work for them that's how we met mm -hmm. the guy is a genius so it'd be very good to have him on board on like the business side of things and the financials yeah because i think we're looking to raise some money so wait, so wait, so wait, can the can the fellas can the fellas be invested in no two ways? I'm gonna I'm gonna I might do an SEIS or EIS funding. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Do you guys take Visa debit? <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, for real. Okay, very sick. That's exciting. Yeah. Uh, because I want to get. I I can see like it's blown all, all my wildest expectation oh, fucking I'm yeah. phrases so nah, you get it right oh, that's yeah. right. wildest right. expectations out of the water my dreams have been blown out of the water whatever you want to say and it's like well if because I I think we could say that like my expectations are quite high yeah. in terms of like quality and content and so yeah. on and it's like if you've blown me out of the water then it's like oh shit we should just put our foot down like someone said to me um you found your lane, now put your foot down on an Instagram DM from a fan. And I was oh, like, wow. that's, that's cool. sick, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, I found my lane, let's put the foot down. How do you do that? Well, I'm actually just, I'm at, I don't have enough money to make enough shoes to sell the amount of shoes that the people want. Yep. So it's like, let's raise some money and let's go hard, hopefully. Yeah. And make a shit ton. So, so and what, sell what, a shit ton. 
So yeah. w- do you have any idea when you're looking to, to make that step? Because that's a big step. Oh, really? We're talking ASAP. ASAP. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like Rocky. Maybe, maybe in the in the next like two months. Exciting. And I will open that up. Like as in, really, I know mm. you're taking the probably taking the piss. No, but, no, no. no. Like, I got a couple quid. But if like, because I know that the people around me as well have been super. Su- you guys have been super supportive. Everyone around me is like, Cal, bro, you like this is sick. What you're doing. Mm. Yeah. So it's like, oh, if you actually believe in it, then. Like, give me your money. <laughs> put some money in. Hey, yo, JJ, remember that uh, Instagram story that you put up that said these shoes were were sick? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna need to see some money now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to see sick. no two ways on like a League One shirt sponsor. That's what I'm trying a, to say. My my um. Oh, so maybe I won a poll for my old school to win like a. They couldn't play each other because none of the lower leagues can play each other. Yeah. And they were doing basically Twitter polls to see who would win the FA Cup of their thing. Oh, this is your school team? Yeah, my yeah. old, my, so I saw it and, my, and Jesse mm-hmm. linked it to me. He was like, yo, can you vote? Can you vote? Can you tweet this out? I was like, fuck yeah. Uh-huh. And I did it. And then Simon- I saw this. Snaked me so hard. How? So I tweeted out about my old school, right? Playing another school and I got it. They were like 70% of the vote. On Twitter Maybe poll. Maybe 80 yeah. on Twitter poll. Yeah. 8,000 votes. Simon comes in. Vote for the opposite team. Was his... his uh, but score? did he have any reason to? Apparently, Was his oh, mate yeah. Yeah. went to the school and like told him to... I was like, bruv, I went to the school. That's my yeah, old that, school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No so way. his mate went to the his other opposite school. His mate's brother's little cousin yeah. went to the other Them school. Ones. And, then, and then who won? I won. Oh, he's still looking his buzzing. That's why I brought the story yeah, up. Yeah, that's why I mentioned you, it. You know what that is? You know what that is? That's an attempted ratio gone wrong. Yeah. That, that, that is, that is, gone that, wrong. That's gone wrong. You seen that drug, Simon. You seen the Sorry. drug meme called ratio, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah literally. <laughs> that's hilarious. No, I did see that you actually tweeted out looking for ratios and I was there like, oh, th- this will probably do, do uh, this will do numbers. And then I, I read the first reply, it's from some random guy ratioed you instantly. <laughs> he did do that, yeah. <laughs> yeah you Last night, yeah, yeah, you yeah, saw yeah, that, yeah. 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 That was, that was It was just a random Chelsea fan. Yeah. Completely bro, ratioed fo- me. Football Twitter, it remains yeah, undefeated, bro. It does, it does. And that's why I summoned it. Yeah. On that day, when it. Simon ca- came for my throat, yeah. I tweeted out, football Twitter, I summon you. Yeah. yeah, and they came through. Uh, yeah, oh, you know I when won. they've got S Z N in the name, like have it season. season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Season. that's when you know them yeah. ones. Football Those Twitter goated. Football yeah, Twitter built goated. different, Undefeated. man. Built different. Undefeated. So what I was gonna say is the my old school after that, off the back of that, yeah. offered me a shirt sponsor for No Two Ways or After Party or Calyx on it. Please tell me you took and it. And I was like, you know what, that's a good idea. So I have put passed on yeah. my email and we're we're talking. What, what are you gonna put slap on the front? Any ideas? Might just slap Calyx on it just for the bants. Because I think yeah. like no Why two not? ways by association need like yeah. my, my my they need to be undefeated for the whole season for me to put no two ways. Not in the only that, shirt. but you need to be releasing a football boot. They asked me to. <laughs> no so way. I, so I talked to Rocky and we're going to get one sample, the football boot. See, see if it just goes. for bands. Oh my God, that'll be unreal. That'll I be actually funny. also asked him for a ski boot today. A ski boot. So I saw, Virgil, spenny, though. I saw Virgil up in the mountains with a Nike tick on his ski boot. And I was like- What, you're trying to go Verbier again? What? Oh mate, I'd love oh, to. Oh, the ski trips. Eh? It has to happen this year. Oh, it has to. hopefully, yeah. hopefully. End of the year, maybe. It was a banger. Um, I love a ski But trip. yeah, so we're looking for funding yeah. soon. Uh, your, your money is welcome. Yeah. Well, uh, I, 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 I now have some money. I, I've, I've been broke for a lot of my life, but I'm now. I, I think I'm also on that wave as well. Yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I think it's all the fact that I've actually started working now. That makes a big difference. It, it, it does help. It does definitely yeah. help. Yeah. I've got money. It's just in the fella's business account. <laughs> so, That's um, called our money, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. And even in the fella's, it, it's a depressing bank account. It, it's not great, but um, don't worry, guys. We because will be get, sending yeah. our PayPal links for uh, the one and two pound that I talked about earlier, but we'll get to that. Uh, please donate. Please, yeah, keep please, please send friends and family because I don't want to pay the fees. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that, that's no two ways. Anything, anything else exciting happening? Um, I got no a story for you. Okay. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Okay, we'll come to that. But um, a second. I'm just, I, I'm really proud of it. Mm-hmm. I know that's kind of cheesy. No, but like, it's, it's true though. I'm, I, I feel like I've been building, I've said this on, on many other videos and podcasts okay. and to friends and stuff, but like, I feel like I've been building for 10 years to then release this thing oh. and then actually know what I'm talking about and what I'm doing now. Yeah, I love It feels that. like really, I feel really secure in, in, 
in the in the direction that I've taken. Yeah. Feel really l- lucky to have met Rocky as well. The guy is a. Well, I mean, me, you and me always say this, don't we? It's like, look, you know, we can we can do as as much as we can, and we we have certain brains for certain things, but. One of the most important things that I've found is that when you're working on either a new thing or even, you know, let's say YouTube or whatever, it's about surrounding yourself with people that are smarter than you, right? If you don't surround yourself yeah. with people that are smarter than you, even if it's um, like, you know, I, I would say I'm smarter than, you know, a lot of people when it comes to a certain thing. But, you know, at this point, uh, you know, at this particular subject, let's say designing the actual shoe illustrator mm. it's about putting your getting someone and surrounding yourself yeah. with someone that knows their shit yeah. and i'm not just talking you're ha- hiring an average person mm-hmm. you're hiring or you know getting involved when in getting into bed with someone that knows their shit that is exactly why you begged me for two years to yeah. do a podcast <laughs> with you. exactly exactly but one interesting thing one interesting thing was i say i surround myself with very you know talented people i'm not too sure why bts alex is working on this podcast <sighs> oh, how no. I don't God. wear the semi Grealish trim today. Wow. Yeah, you have actually that. tried the Grealish trim. Can you actually just quickly come into frame so the people can see you the Grealish trim? Can come. we have you on camera today? Come on, just come on. Just a little bit, come on. But yeah, I completely it's surrounding with yourself with talented the, people. Talented people and not having an ego around it as well. Like mm-hmm. Very important. That just is like if someone knows something, like that's, I think that's one of my best traits personally, honestly. I say it out loud, like someone's better than me at something. Cool. What, so being able more. to find talented people or finding someone with a talent. Just like not, I feel like I, for, that is a talent in itself. Like being able to yeah. find people around you. Mm-hmm. I think it's hard to, I think I put a lot of that down to luck, but maybe it's not. I don't, I don't know. Think so. may, yeah. I, I don't know, know plenty of people that hire stupid nah, people. Nah, you know, you've you got to have an eye for it. <laughs> I, 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 yeah, seriously. Yeah, though. yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Did I miss him up? But. <laughs> Mate, you, you're always just in your own little planet over there, and then you, and then he just jumps in and trust me, this mind flies in its own way. The uh-huh. Chipluto planet. Uh huh, hundred percent. But uh, you were actually going to say something before I kept uh, harping on about about this. I don't know if you can remember what. That yeah, was. the no, I was going to say, um, do I have any other stories recently? I've got a separate yes. story. Go on then. But I just want to big someone up, really, and this is Ooh. probably a good clickbait for you. Finally. As well. Oh yes, <laughs> finally. Fuck, how long are we into this podcast now? Oh baby, an, look at, look an hour and ten. Up. Fuck, we finally got finally, finally got a, a compliment clip. from someone. Go on. Yeah. Um, you want you know you know this. Is, I don't think you do, Chip. Um, been like I was been in crypto since I was yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. Come on, I need the title. I'm thinking, where is this title coming from? I haven't got the title yet. All right, I got, got it. I see. Set it up for the okay. Set the biggest baby. Go. Yeah. Go for so, it. So um, been in crypto since 2017. Mm-hmm. Got into Ethereum when it was about seven dollars. I do remember that. And uh, it's just hit 1800. I'm not as rich in crypto as you think I am because I day traded and made a lot of stupid mistakes that I don't make anymore. But in 2017, 2018, oh fuck it was a, I turned 12,000 pounds into $970,000 and then didn't really cash out that much. Pain. Pain. Okay, that's fair. But a learning. But I learned a lot. There. And therefore, we're in now another bull run and alt season. Bitcoin hit fifty thousand dollars today. Elon Child Musk. Bitcoin. Elon Musk has just put one point five billion dollars yep. into mm-hmm. it. Saw that. Uh, someone owns five and a half billion dollars of Bitcoin in one address so, so, that they bought this week or this month or uh, something like that. Yeah, the, I think yeah, something like this week. Um, fuck off. Well, it must be a company. It has to be. A company. It has to be a company. Yeah. Which someone is someone moved hundred bitcoin. Mental. Was no, it no, 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 no. This week as well. That they sixteen thousand bitcoin. Yeah. Oh, I was talking about something else then. No, no, the no. You are, no, you're talking about the no, same no. thing. I thought it was the guy that moved hundred bitcoin that he bought for seventy-five or something. Oh, oh I didn't know it, that. It's another into, story. It turned into five. Well, I saw it on a guy's Insta story today. Bought for seventy-five thousand, I think, hundred, and moved. And just hold, held so it. So he bought them all for seven hundred and fifty. Held it and sold for five mil. Oh, or, or it, not sold, but it's now worth five yeah, mil. Yeah, yeah. So, wow. And yeah, it just got moved mad. today, and he was tweeting about. It. So um, I'd like to see myself. I've got a crypto Twitter that I don't really tell anyone about, but mm-hmm. did on the last bull run. Um, so you know, this this cycle happened, and uh, KSI saw some of my tweets or what talking about it, talking about it in the group chat going guys like i mean i tried to get a certain man we live together so i want to uh-huh. hear your excuse why you didn't well, no i was still in it. i, I I've, i'm up no 
the eight dollars like back in the day when, when oh, I was banging on the bike. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, there was a lot of skepticism. We'll go into that in a sec. I took a lot, of, a lot of heat. But anyway, JJ got into it, and I've spent many, many hours in calls with this guy uh, over the last like two, three months, just teach him about what I know, like certain charts and what it means, or how to even buy because it's hard to buy properly. Yeah. yeah. Um, down to the little things, and you know what he did. I said, I said, JJ, I'm gonna, not me, but we're gonna turn your investment that you've put in into- 10 Which by the way, is a lot of fucking money. No, now it is, oh, but oh, it oh. wasn't. Oh, right, it okay, wasn't okay. His time. initial investment, no. His yeah. initial investment, Sorry, it wasn't it that wasn't, much money. Yeah. I said, we're gonna turn this into $10 million in the next couple months. And he said to me, "Yeah, if we turn this money into $10 million, I'll give you a million dollars. Oh. And I was like, bruv, like, cause I know that he'll get there. The market was perfect. The timing was perfect. The timing was great. It could have been better. It could have been earlier, but it was, it was pretty good. Com- yeah. Cause everyone's now getting into it. You've got people, you know, yeah, yeah, that we yeah. know. This, adding this money was now. when a few months ago. This was like December. And, uh, uh, quen- uh, quarter four. Yeah. I did, even November, later, December. He was getting into it then, yeah. but like kind of invested like, yeah. Okay, end of Q4 ish. Okay. And uh, yeah, I was just really confident that he was going to hit 10 million. I was like, mate, with the stuff I know now, we're going to hit that and you're going to get out then and we're all going to be really happy. I'm going to make you a lot of money. I'm going to be a fucking legend. Yeah, That's what yeah, I said yeah, to him. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, yeah, well, if it happens, um, I'm going to give you a million dollars. And I was just like, bro, that's like, that's one tenth of what you're going to make. Firstly, that's, that's a huge- that's crazy. <laughs> That's a huge amount of money. Uh-huh. I was like, you don't have to. He's like, nah, bro. Like, I wouldn't be here without you. And we're talking that we're already, um, we're already along this timeline now. Like, right. you know, it went from original investment to, to a bit further along. I don't want to give away too much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh, like it's looking like it's gonna happen. Yeah. He's on course. He's on track. But what I'm what I'm saying is like that just sums up JJ as a person, like such yeah. a solid dude. In that, if you mm-hmm. help, if you scratch his back, he'll scratch yours. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's like I spent a lot of time just out, not not expecting anything, but just out of the kindness of my heart, teaching him. If you're going to put money in, you need to know how to do it properly, because yeah. otherwise you're just going to lose it all. Yeah, just like I did. Yeah, not all of it, but. And so yeah, I just wanted to tell that story to say, yeah. firstly, crypto is. Is, is popping right now. You should look into it, do your own research and stuff. Um, it's going to be a big year, I think. This could come back yeah, and bite me like mad, you know. You. Bitcoin hit 50k way, today, this might way, be the top. Just so everyone knows, obviously we just have to say it, is that we're not advising you to do anything. We're simply telling our own experiences. I've got mm-hmm. the line, I've got the line. Okay. okay, what's the line? This is not financial advice. Hmm. Honestly, it's not because- Oh wait, that's the mug. line? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, th- yeah. I was expecting like a little something more. I thought more you were about no. to actually give a little monologue. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Not a four word <laughs> that's sentence. It. Don't this listen not... to three silly, silly YouTubers Have absolutely you the... bevved. That, that bottle was full at the yeah. at the start of the show. We can do a little top up season as well. Cause oh I yeah. You have I'm, a top shows up I'm, in a yeah, I'm looking I think the last person that topped up was you to be honest. Yeah, there we go. Fair enough. Okay. Is that your second bev, Cal? It's my third. Impressive. And I'll top mine up. Don't it's, worry, it's, because it's, I keep getting called out. <laughs> I like I like it when we get a uh, a guest on a show who uh, can do a drink. Uh, you know, it's been it's been a while. Mm-hmm. I've been a, a non vaccinated don. Uh huh. Go on. Well, I was uh, yeah. No, I, I was gonna just go into the crypto stuff a little bit now. Yeah. Um, because a lot of people are genuinely interested in it, and a lot of people don't really know much about it. Um, but our story. I, I guess we'll start we'll start with the story that you mentioned before we went into the KSI stuff, um, which was back in 2017. Now, again, this is when we lived in that Halo Tower. Um, and yeah, you came in and you were like, have you heard of this thing called, and, and uh, to be honest, you've always been, at least as far as in my head, been an Ethereum man. At least that's what you were always harping on to me about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was always there like, what is this man fucking waffling about? Like that, me and me and Harry were both there. We 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 were we weren't. I wouldn't say we weren't mocking you for it. No, but we were just there. Like he's no doing interest. his own thing. Yeah, he he's no doing interest. his own thing. I don't really know what the fuck's going on. He's doing his thing. So you're doing your thing, and it's then 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 you know he starts. You just start chugging around a couple of numbers, and I'm thinking, 
Hold on a second. How is how is Lux making peas back in 2017? Yeah. And then that's when obviously it, it, it piqued my interest. Um, and I got in yeah. around then, but I, like I'm talking, I chucked in like a couple of grand. Yeah, yeah. Um, back in 2017, which now which now is worth a lot more money. Um, but obviously, as with anything in life, you know, looking back now, you think, well, Cal, why didn't why, why didn't I put fifty grand in? Mm -hmm. Blah blah blah. And it's because back then, well, if I put fifty grand in now, that's fine. But back then, if I put fifty grand in, that's a lot of my money in there. Whereas now, I wouldn't be as uncomfortable putting fifty grand into something like yeah. that. Yeah, well, and you're more financially secure now mm -hmm. than you were four years ago. Exactly, and, and not only that, but the thing that you'd be putting it in is also a lot more well-known. It's yeah. got a better reputation. Back then, you have to remember, in 2017, this was when it like really started to kick off. It was still like, bro, this is just this is an internet coin. You've bought an internet coin. And that's what I thought in my head. I was so confused. I know it's a you bit were- hard you, to understand it, You were in it? on it as yes, well. Yes, yes. Because, still... because we were all these YouTubers sort of- knew about it and had li little bits of money but then there were a few youtubers that took it a bit further you had yourself you uh, had a uh, quibble cop yeah finch um, finch, finch, finch sure. as well yeah. um those three there's probably a few yeah. more out there joel, joel was kind of into it too maybe not as into yeah. It as yeah joel was into it yeah, but he yeah. was into it for sure Ollie, his mate. i've yeah. still got a little bit well i the thing is i can't get into my binance account oh, oh no would say it and yeah. i haven't been able to get into it for ages because it's pretty I don't know, easy, but anyway, by the way. Yeah, I've, I actually sent off the passport thing the other day yeah, to get yeah. my account back because I lost the Google authentication and I've just not heard anything back. And I know I've got a lot of one coin in there and I'm pretty sure it's Zill. Oh, that's a banger to have hold, held. Yeah. I'm almost certain. Max is texting me as well saying I'm almost certain what you yeah, have mate. is Zill. You're, and you're... I think it is two because that's the one that uh, how much friend, did you we had a friend Ollie. In. probably nothing like compared to what you guys no, would have on, but, but how uh, much do you reckon actually was because back then what it would have been like I or did you do you know I a higher than it I certain at one time I had at least $7,000 worth of one or two coins I wonder what that is okay now. That, is that, and that is the highest the that's the highest it ever went actually, but I remember it going down loads Cal I remember yeah no it went to, like it went to the bottom and I was like I remember mate. the balance just going down down but I was yeah. just kind of like I don't really know much about it so I don't really want to just sell it and I just kind of like kept it and I'm pretty sure I just kept yeah. it in sale that's one of the shit coins from back in the day yeah. so, it's, not, it's not really a shit coin actually that's a bit unfair yeah it is an altcoin but it's one of the altcoins that banged back in the day that and then is fell now, off and then come back up right? like everything fell off but has now come back yeah, well, to Joel, the same. Joel was telling me about it. Yeah, day. it's, it's back. nearly back to where it was according to that graph. No, that I actually, thing. if you go onto the what was it Coin Market the website, Cap, or the, yeah, yeah, the recent peak was higher than the older peak. Or it depends what I, in. At least I was looking at the right chart, I think. But it was all, either that or it was exactly the same. Right, right, both, right, Back in the day, it went to fifteen cents. Was it? I can't remember. And now it's just in the same, something like that. Fuck it. It's, it's went, a banger it, of a coin fella, though, mate. It went, down, really? it went yeah. down to nothing, Cal. Yeah. It went down to no, I've just one, seen the graph, mate. one, like nothing. No yeah. no money. That's what but it was. Yeah, it's crazy. So like nowadays, you know, it, it's sort of the talk of the town again. Mm -hmm. Everyone's back on it a little bit. Everyone's tuned in. It's funny because, you know, at the beginning, um, I won't say, you know, there, there, were, there were doubters amongst the group. Let's put it that way. <laughs> there were serious doubters amongst the group. I've always, I've always been... Um, sort of like I've enjoyed like the meme of it. You know, I like I like the chat of it. I like to troll, but like behind the scenes, I'm doing my own thing, and I'm just sort of seeing what's happening. I'm never too invested in it, but the main reason why I like it is because the chat that everyone has around it, mm. and I like to be involved in the chat. And in order for me to be involved in the chat, I've got to have some sort of stake in it. Um, and so that's sort of where my interest really peaks from. Um, but it's very interesting to see that there were genuinely people that just completely just really you know mocked it even to this day they mocked it it's always going to be like that though with but, something so um up in the air something that's so hard to predict there's always going to be people that are doubters there's always going to yeah. be people that are major backers it's just like anything it's like conspiracy theory almost yeah it's yeah. going to be people that are there's like, ways to go about it yeah though but yeah 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 but at the end of the day is let me put it this way those people that were the doubters are now the ones Oh, investing a lot of money Cal, to catch up to The way you're talking right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What kind of perspective are you talking in there? 
Are you, no. Were you one of them doubters? No, no, I've, no. Just said, I've just said no. I was in on 2017. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. No, Who I was, was talking uh, about other people. We, you want to drop a name on me? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no. <laughs> there's, no, there's, no. there's no need to drop names. There's, but there's multiple names. Look, look, yeah. look. There's multiple we names. We said we wanted to get better clips. I'm trying. <laughs> there, there, there's clips there. There's clips. There's clips. There's look, clips. can look. I bring some up that I've had a lot of DMs about? Go on, then. Okay. Better be crypto related. No, it's not crypto related because we have just spoke about that for 20 minutes. So I'm. It's my turn now, boys. Okay. All right, come on. Nah, seriously though, I get a lot of DMs saying, "What's the update on Cal Freezy and Attack on Titan?" And okay. this is, comes after the news of Attack on Titan is now the highest, most popular in-demand show in America. Do you know what Attack on Titan is? I've heard of it. I don't know what you're talking about though. It's a. It's just a very. Don't fist bump him like you ain't yeah, started look, it. No, no, no. I, I, I hate. I've spoken about Attack on Titan. So, but people want the update. Where are the you update, at? The update is. Don't, and if you dare say what I don't want you to say, you can have people on your back here. No, no, no. I understand anime is obviously a very popular thing. What did you say? It's the most popular thing? In most the... in-demand show in yeah. America, ahead of Mandalorian, stuff like that. One stat that I can 100% confirm is the fact that it is not in demand in my household because <laughs> it, it just it just doesn't interest me. It's like, here, it's wait, wait, wait. wait. So good. No, 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 I get that's it. Fucked. And that's fine. And, and I'm not saying it's shit. Yeah. But the way the viewing experience is like, you know them um, flick books that when you flick in through a book and like someone's drawn style. a slightly different thing on yeah. each thing and then you do that and it's like he's running or whatever through a book. That's like, I'm talking, it feels like a two frame per second. Is thing. that what it is? You don't like, do you not like animation? Do you like Disney animated things and stuff? I don't mind. Like, I don't mind or that, but it, this is different. Or is it just the actual art style of this specific show? Uh, no, nah, like because you know is, every anime is drawn differently yeah. and stuff. And you know what the problem is? Every time I look at the thing called the cart titan, I just see myself. <laughs> and I'm there. I like, get so many DMs saying Carl looks like the cart titan. Bro, every day, and it's all over a my car Reddit. tire. Cart titan. It's a, it's a character. It's, it's a titan it, right. from a second time. Yeah. But yeah, have you never have you ever watched anime? You ever given no, it a try? No. But we've had this discussion, we and have. I've been told I, by people in the past I think that I would this. love it. Yeah. And I know I would love it because mm -hmm. it's like really short I episodes think you would as like well. It, yeah. I'm kind of I'm kind of neaky like that. Watch. Well. Yeah. yeah, I think you would like it. You one probably one day, it give it a try, but maybe when you're not so busy, because that shit is good. And when it gets good, then yeah. you're like, oh well, I'm just not gonna leave my house for the next two weeks. I'm not gonna finish this entire I know show. I've I've received many a photo from you. Oh yeah, just yeah I always just send pictures to the boys. <laughs> you, you, you know what? You, you know what Chip does? Yeah, he, he uh, he'll get a bird round, and she's thinking she's in for a good little romantic time. He just sticks on like top ten anime moments, and, <laughs> and for I swear to God, nah, <laughs> no, and I'll tell and her. Wait, no, no, no. Before you say that <laughs> that doesn't happen, you literally send pictures in the group chat of you with a bird in bed watching a uh, Levi top ten moments. Yo, that's actually sick, you know. No, yeah. it's so that's actually sick. Because I'll, be so I'll try and get it out early doors. Because if they <laughs> if they can't back this, if they can't back this, and by the way, this same girl has just gone and bought me a bunch of Attack on Titan stuff for Valentine's Come Day. Come on. Okay. So that's how you know that it's a real one. Your but, wife's um, up. If they can't back that idea, then you're going to have to leave because it's Levi or nothing. All right? <laughs> Levi he's, or nothing. He's like one of the main characters in the show. So they come round and I'll stick on Levi versus the Beast Titan, show them, see what they think about the animation, what they think about the soundtrack. I'll stick on a couple soundtracks. How's this float your boat? If it's a no, you know where the door is. What but is it? it? That's it. But if it's a yes, you're in luck because I got John Lewis 600 Fred Count bench sheets, baby, and they're waiting to go. <laughs> <laughs> and I also got a TV in there as well, so we can <gasps> carry on this Beast Titan clip in there. 600 threads. <laughs> 600 then no do you know what that's poverty it as well it's about the it thousand actually, it actually count. got crazier than that i no. actually was i have a thing where i sweat a lot in my sleep every oh, night the old I'll, Harry wake, thing. I'll wake up the bed stripping so what i did go out and do is i bought some bamboo bed sheets for about 300 quid they were complete shite but i was sold i was shilled they were told me oh it's like temperature controlling and regulating all this bollocks next thing you know i'm just dripping even more it's just being held by bamboo. There, there's nothing that can fix it, I don't think, unless you put like an air conditioner in the bed. Well, you just get really hot. Yeah, even if I sit the air conditioner on full whack in the room. You need to just, sleep naked, mate. The covers are on top of me. I'm hot. That's mad. Yeah. Why don't you just use a sheet then? But instead of like a duvet? sometimes when I sleep with socks on, I don't get that hot. All right. You and I think it's some, and I Googled guy. it and it's apparently something to do when like your feet and hands control how hot the rest of your body is. Something like that. And yeah. when sleeping with your socks on can help. Yeah. Some bullshit like that anyway. But anyway, that's what Reddit's saying. You know what Reddit's saying. Reddit's great. Ah, yeah. Reddit Reddit's 100% the truth. Well, yeah, 100%. There was a post on there about me a long time ago saying the burnt ship is gay. 
It might be. Really? Yeah. So maybe I am now. You might be bi. I could be. I've thought about it. I've thought about it too. Because I do look at fellas sometimes <laughs> and think, you know what? He's fucking peng, he is. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm ready but to move not- on to the next uh, thing. <laughs> I, I, I've, I've, I've pulled up uh, something from a fella, uh, uh, a question from the fella that I think we like. Unless your you ha- your, your, your hands and feet not regulated at the moment. Not right now. I'm dripping. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if people can hear if that. You can, if, you're, if you're listening on Spotify and Apple right now, I'm blowing on my chest. Yeah, blowing. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's a good question, actually. You have a choice. Okay, okay. Um, I will say, actually, for the sake of this, I'm going to create my own number here. I'm going to go with 5 million Great British Pounds. Okay? So for 5 million Great British Pounds... I'm not going to sell it for that. Um, I'll do a lot There for that. is a snail... That will follow you around for the rest of your oh. life, and if you if it touched you, you die. What are you taking? By the way, this is a very smart snail. You cannot. It's an indestructible snail. You cannot kill it. Um, you can't do anything. But it will follow you around for the rest of your life. It's very smart. This snail. Yo, that's mad. For five million pounds. As what in, are you doing? as in. So if I go from UK to Australia, yeah. This snail. Yeah. Will somehow board onto yes. a ship it's a very smart slash. Sound. No, get on a plane. It's quicker. It will get on a plane. Yeah, yeah it's a the smart snail sound. will get on the plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it'll be there in twelve hours. But you got to remember, it does take a little while to get to the airport and all that. Like it's a yeah, slow. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, a, yeah. a snail is a snail. Yeah. But it's a very wow. intelligent snail. That's not enough money. If you I'm give sorry me enough for how money, much? Five, build, mil. build, five million pounds. No, that's bro. that's pittance. Give yeah, me enough money. I'm building a massive blimp. That snail won't ever touch me. And what I will be doing is I'll be leaning out the window like, fuck you, bitch. Wait, so you're just going to live in a blimp for what, five mil? No, that's why I'm saying if you give me more money, yeah. let's talk 20 mil, all right? Okay, okay. Let's just say you've opened your, your okay. reserves yeah, yeah, in yeah, the yeah, Spanish yeah, yeah. bank. Yeah, if you've got more money for me, I'm building a serious blimp. Okay. And we're never going on the ground ever again. But then what's the point in having that money? Because what, you're just going to chill in the sky? No, I'd, no, no. Surely you'd no, rather fella, say no. Fella, I fella, on this blimp. It's going to be like the Titanic of the blimps. You're not getting that for 20 mil. And, it w- and this one is not sinkable. So, I would hire uh-huh. a very smart human. Right. And I would get them, I, we would test the snail uh-huh. and its ability, its strength, its knowledge. How are you going to find it though? What, you're going to let it catch it. him? I'd see it. Oh, you're going to wait in one spot for a year or something and then let him come? A, a indestructible cell I would sit in until it came and stood at my door. All right, I like and that. And I'd know that I'm three meters away from being killed. Okay. Yeah. Right? And I get a scientist to then track said snail yep. and find out how smart it is and how long it would take, therefore, to get to Australia. Sure. The airport travel, so on. Okay. And I would then travel strategically between two different countries on two different points of the world every four weeks. But it wouldn't be for five mil. You reckon you could live yeah, a sustainable that's, that's life with your ki- money, with man. with kids with everything moving in place every four weeks? Yeah, but you'd have to give me enough money for me to say yes to it. So it'd have to be so for five for million. Mil? No way. No way. No, okay, it's no. not enough money. Okay, okay. I'll make that this year. Okay, what's interesting Oof. is is that is that my man in the DM actually said a hundred million pounds. Yeah, a hundred mil. Okay. No. I can't believe you just dropped that. But you're making that in a year. A hundred mil? No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Obviously, like, I need like three crepes and so like four crepes. No. Um. So for uh, okay, no, seriously, 50, 50 million pounds. Oh, you've changed it again. Yeah, I, I said 50, fifty million pounds. Fifty mil. I back myself to do like to like just skip the snail and make fifty mil over the next five years. Yeah. So you don't. So okay, that's fine. Um. But obviously, you know life without having to do all that stuff like you can just have 50 mil like 50 as, in, as in the moment you accept the offer 50 mil is deposited you to your account yeah pounds mm. great british pounds the the queen is you on thinking? your uh, on your notes you know what that's a thrill set me up it's a thrill it's a thrill really yeah i love i love that can never kill the smell i'm like this in it like i love a challenge what yeah. about when you're old that's old fine we'll do the flying thing yeah. They'll have different technology back then. I'll put the snail in a fucking box and send them to space. Indestructible, got, indestructible, bro. You fellas. can't, it's too smart. It's you, not too smart. You thought it was that snail. He sent off a, do, uh, a decoy and you've just sent the decoy out to space. All right, cool, yeah. And he's done you in. <laughs> to be fair, I could go to space. You know what? The the, the snail used babble so it can actually understand what you're saying. <laughs> 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 Little babble thing. 
No, not if it's deposited into your bank account straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. straight away into I the mean, bank. gifting, tax-free. If you're mm-hmm. taxing yeah, it. No, 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 tax-free yeah. 50. Come and we're on. setting no two ways up in Guernsey happen. anyway, so. What are you saying? Fine. We're setting up in Guernsey. No two ways up uh, business account. Panama, Panama. Got not? one for you. I think I've mentioned this on one of the earlier podcast okay. episodes. Um, okay, going to Mars. You get to go to Mars yes. the, this year. 20, what was the year? 2021. Yeah. Um, you're going this year. You are going to be the first... Or second person to set foot on Mars, okay? So imagine it, Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, yeah. that kind of vibe. There is only a 50% chance that you will make it back to Earth. You don't get paid a penny, but you'll become the first immortal. Mentor, the first or second, you're immortal in the sense, yeah, he yeah. banged it there. You'll become an immortal in the sense that you were the first or second person to step foot on Mars. But there's only a 50% chance you're making it back. What are you doing? No, and you've got to tell me, how long is the trip? How long is the trip? How long? The eight years. Mad. No, it's not eight years now. It takes is it? eight I months s- to I get swear there. It's, yeah, nine, wish. nine months. To no, get no, 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 no. But, but the Depending entire trip because he's got to do the scientific research. So, yeah, out there. all right. So okay, we'll give it. We'll give five. it. We'll give it five. So you go there. Five years. You've got your eight, nine month trip in space. You get there. Yeah. You're actually going to stay on the planet for four years, and then you're going to do the same thing. Come back. Overall, yeah. looking five to six years. Fifty percent chance to live, but you'll become a mortal. Even if you die or live, what are you doing? Are you saying yes or no? I that is, because Mars is a mad thing. I'm one hundred percent saying yes. That's all. What I'll say. What yeah. about you? So I'm a huge space fan. Yeah, mm-hmm. you are. That's so why I, I've asked you this so question. So I think you know what the answer is. I would, I would go tomorrow. Yeah, because like, what is life if like life? The def the the how to live life is to try and live as many different lives as possible. Yeah, sure. If you live the same life for your entire mm-hmm. life, it's, it's boring. It's not as you know. We've that's all why lived. There's a lot of catfishes on Tinder. Exactly. Yeah, no, that's exactly why. Chip. Yeah. Thank you. Well, people um, try and live different lives, and live as many <laughs> lives as you can. Now. So what you're trying to say, guys, if you're trying to live a happy life, you become a catfish on so Tinder. So you're telling me Thank to delete you. my Gary account with a picture of Joel on Tinder? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does he get many swipes? Uh, I guess quite a few. It, it, his grinder can't, one can't on relate. the other hand. Can't Girls, relate. if you're watching, that Gary, it ain't Joel. <laughs> <laughs> it's Chip, which could be better, to be fair. Uh, you know what? Thank you, because it is better. Um... Yes, I would I would go because like we're so insignificant in the grand scheme of things. You're so, so grains right. of sand, stars in the sky. We're sure. Mate, this fella's podcast, no offense to you, and me it's being nothing. here. It's nothing. We mean fuck Speak all. Speak for yourself, this fuck is everything. All. This is everything to me. <laughs> yeah. It is my income. To you, yes. It is it is the food you on are my nothing. table. I am nothing. Uh, I can't believe this. I've I've been violating nah, my own yeah, You lot speak for yourselves because me, I fucking. Uh, you I know what? I'm, I'm no- a top dog on this planet. Put your narcissism away. We are nothing. We are nothing. Okay. So what I'm saying is, to have to be the first person slash second to step foot. On, and by the way, I'd shove that first person to the side, and I'd yeah, be like, by yeah. the way, McGinley's traveling yeah, yeah, yeah. first. No, no, no. You are the first in this scenario. You are. The first. I am the first, so I will step foot. Yeah. I will step foot first on Mars. Okay. 100% I'm staying there. 50%, so, those are great odds. So was, uh, I, this is interesting because uh, at the end of the day, you said like, you, you, it's, it's nothing at the end of the day, right? It's, you, you are you are nothing. So what makes you think in people saying, oh, Callum McGinley was the first on Mars. It's fucking pointless. It was for nothing. Congratulations. You, yeah. you were given 80 to 100 years on planet Earth and you sacked it off for nah. what? So people in school could learn that you were the first one nah, to step on the step on Mars. Himself. I sometimes cemented think himself in what? It ain't gonna be your cemented himself to himself. No, for what? But like, like to himself. It's pointless. That 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 feeling inside when you've done it and you He's know, dense. and you know, it doesn't matter because that feeling that he will feel once you've done that is a feeling that nobody else will be able no to way. feel. No way. So disagree. I would do it. Possibly, I think I would possibly do it even if it was a hundred percent chance of death. Really? Whoa. Because would you do? Would you do? Because no, 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 because no. it's really? it's a sacrifice, but it's a sacrifice. It'll For be what? like it's a complete. That is to me. That's that's completion. That's you've reached the end of the game. That's one hundred percent to me. I'd be, but I don't know if it was going to be one hundred percent chance death. It wouldn't be at this age. I'd do it at like fifty, sixty. Yeah. And astronauts, they don't. They're not young. Yeah, you they're ain't all, going up tomorrow, you, fella. Yeah, you ain't going up. <laughs> yeah, don't go up at a young age. You normally have to be quite experienced and you know yeah. wise. I would take it if I was like fifty, hundred percent chance death. Yeah, because that is so me, you're so you're going on a fifty percent chance. Yeah, you're so, going. So what I you think said he'd do it on more fifty percent chance. Probably, yeah. Yeah, I think he would. So you, what you said is completely correct in that like nothing matters. Yeah. But at the same time, if like nothing matters, it means that 
nothing matters. So therefore, I should just go and and do this because it's a cool thing. Like no, in terms it, of like what I want to do. But if it matters to you, yes, agree, right? But if we're in the living in this world of like not much mattering, mm -hmm. like the first experience to Mars matters to the people on Earth. So therefore, it matters a lot. In the grand scheme of things, I completely agree with you in terms of nothing matters because we're this just insignificant rock mm. floating through space. But if it's not you, it's someone else. Do you know what I mean? So it's, so it's there like the only thing about you going to it would simply just to be have your name being the one person. Yeah, but you'd live on as a legacy. So I, your life would mean nah, something for compared what, to other it's lives not, in the world. It's not going to mean shit, bro. You it does also, mean it. It well, does mean. Okay, then, 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 then Kanye West is the first person to have like a billion dollar or, or sorry, Dr. Dre. Um, is the first person to have like, you know, out of hip hop to be billion dollar. Okay, there is his part in legacy. I step in on Mars. Mars, you know, it, at the end of the day, it's fucking nothing. Now, but what about your- So what's the point? You what might as well just live your life to the interest, full. Though? What about the way you're wired? There are that's certain, different. There are certain people that are wired, and that's why I even asked the question in the first place, because I know he likes space. And there are certain people that would die just to even leave the atmosphere. You know, right. there is people I, have to go to I don't think that I, I don't am, think that's I why so, he would die I though. am so eager I'm one of the one thing if I could have anything in the world that's it just to leave just to go into the atmosphere just even 10 seconds and be fuck I'm in space then come back down I don't mind I also want to do that thing I think you've done it or maybe the sidemen have done it where they go zero gravity I want, like, I'd just even like to experience that yeah. you know Give personal interest should Take you, a you know you know what I hope that I hope question. that that uh, you go on that zero gravity and you go right okay right sweet I've done that now and, now, I'm and like, I'll ask you the same question afterwards and you go you know what like, no, zero gravity that, no, and I, that, like, that, good that, banter that, but that, like, that's just experience zero gravity because I know it's the closest thing I'll probably ever get to space you know I'd you know what I'd recommend uh, like co-pilot in a Cessna a what a Cessna is a, a small, small plane. plane okay and you can co-pilot them I did it while I was at school I was about sixteen. And they took me to minus five G going down and minus five G going up. Nuts. They cut the engine, don't they? Yeah. How, yeah. Is it, how, like, what what feeling would you describe that as? Uh, going up, it's like every single bit of your skin being ripped to the ground. At five G, is like you struggle to breathe. Cal, me and you. Um, this is funny. Me and you. Oh, no. Years yes. ago, we're yeah. meant to do a brand, a branded kind of video, but it was for a series on Galaxy's channel called. Can I say this now? I think this yeah, is scrapped. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was called BPM yeah. Beats Per Minute, and yeah. the idea was, me and Carl. I think this was the first episode. I don't know, whatever. Was, uh, me and Carl, me and you, were meant to jump onto a plane. A double wing, wing plane. walk. Yeah, we were gonna stand on the plane though, so we'd be strapped in and stood up. Yeah. Uh, Carl would go, and then I would go, and the whole idea was be they'll take us right up spin it do whatever all kinds of shit in the air uh and who could keep the lowest heart rate mm -hmm. was the winner mm -hmm. uh, so you're standing on the wing of a plane we're standing on the wing yeah. of a plane outside and yeah, and, yeah, it, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. not just like it's going <laughs> up and just casually going quite low they're taking us up and they're gonna flip the they're whole doing thing stunts. Yeah, yeah stunts you're, yeah. but you're strapped properly in the reason that it didn't tapped. yeah and, <laughs> and, so and cal asked me to do it and i was just like fuck um I, at first i was like no and then i changed my mind and i was like yes the money as well was for this, not even a lot, but it was like, you know what? Let, I always say no to this shit. Let me say yes for once. Said yes, but it didn't what? go ahead because we couldn't get life insurance. You remember he, that? Carl didn't want to do it if we it was couldn't my get manager. life insurance. It was my manager, it was yeah. my manager. Yeah. Rich. Yeah, I think so at the time it was yeah, Rich. So we, couldn't, said, we didn't do it, did we? What do you mean? Like he's gonna go up there and if you if the plane just crashes, what, nothing happened? Like, there's nothing. It yeah, just it's dies. No peace. So they and the company or with the company we were working with, the YouTube network, like wouldn't guarantee my life. And it's yeah. like, well, if you don't value my life, then why am I doing your show? Yeah, yeah. it's true, it's true. Which is a bit deep, but was like, it for your channel or was it for something else? It would have gone up in my channel, I think, but then they were trying to sell the idea to a brand. What's I was a good I idea. I went to Cannes and got up on fucking stage in front of a thousand people and spoke about the idea. Yeah. And it never happened. It may it actually is a good idea. And, yeah, I would, and I would have done it without the life insurance, but that's just me. Yeah, sorry. I mean, sorry. yes, no, no, <laughs> it, 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 but Chip wouldn't have even thought about asking about that. He would have just been like, yeah. "Oh, what? Yeah, what? Ten grand to go up there?" Yeah. You know what? Ah, same, no. same. It's just about the people that you surround yourself yeah, with. Yeah, obviously they're always thinking and, that they're, they're yeah. thinking and they're they're they are right at the end of the day. And they are it right. Was yeah, right. Because if I died, like my my mum, my family, like I've got to a stage now where I'm I'm doing all right, and I can like pay people to do certain things, and it's like. 
That's you can quit either. your job. You can quit your job and not do anything anymore, or just like work for me. It's like if that then just gets cut off tomorrow, you're fucked. They're yeah, fucked. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's true. So, so there we go. Uh, I remember this this BPM uh, idea because it was it, it was pitched. It was pitched to a couple of people, and yeah. it was absolutely. F- Crazy! It was mental. Did you have any? Did you have it now? Did you have yeah. any more ideas besides the plane walk? There was, there was a, there was more. I can't there was a lot more. Were. No, no, but there was also a couple other. Like it was BPM. You had like two other things as well. I remember you were talking about. You remember that. more than me. What the fuck, mate? It was a good yeah. idea. It was one of the craziest things I ever signed myself up for, and it didn't happen. Yeah, and I mean, it wasn't sorry, me. that yeah. is purely my fault. And you know what? It happened again. I got offered a brand deal to go and f- uh, fly a fighter jet <gasps> in like. I remember this. I don't no, know long, some no, Middle Eastern, ago. not Middle Eastern, Eastern European country, and uh, I said no to it because they I swear again, it was Ukraine, bro. It, I think it was Ukraine. I swear it was Ukraine. Yeah. I think it was Ukraine, and I said no because I was like, oh, that's kind of mad, and they weren't insuring me again. Ah, and I was like, bro, like, just pay ten grand. I'm insured for like five million. That's yeah. enough for my p- parents to be fine for the rest of their lives. Yeah. It's not that much money, but they just wouldn't pay it. Yeah, yeah. So, there you go. That, it you is know what? what it is. That would be a an experience. Fighter jet. Not many people get to go in one of them in a life. I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna do it soon yeah, for a YouTube video. I've watched a couple of videos of like uh, civilians going into them, and it, it, they, it yeah. looks they pass out. Mental. They pass out it all the time. Yeah. Mental. It looks really good though. That's like one of the things. So if you guys have like one thing like that, you, I guess your thing could be go go to space. Is there anything that maybe might be slightly more realistic? Um, I'd like to do that. I've watched a lot of videos on that. Of what, like, fighter jet. Yeah, fighter yeah. jet is because the, the G's that they experience yeah. is mental. They um, wear a, they wear a suit that squeezes their legs super tight, um, yeah, so it do. stops the blood from going oh, to their okay, legs okay. or something like that. Is that, Keeps am, it is up, that right? Yeah. Something like that. Because you need the blood in your brain. Yeah, and um, it like out. it just it blows me away. It's quite impressive. I think what about you? What's, 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 what's what do you mean? Thing? What in terms? So of like what? for me, one thing that I really want to do. Uh, and I, now I've just completely blanked and I don't know why. Uh, is, what was the one thing that I wanted to do? If you can't think of it, why is there anything question. else you've got? As in, as in like, yeah. like flying a fighter jet you've or got, doing like zero gravity or something? No, like we're talking like oh, yeah. um, some of this realistic... But it's like well, a yeah, goal, fly, like flying fight. Like for me, um, one thing in my life, I'm gonna go to North Korea. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, like, okay. I'm, g- yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah. Go we spoke there. about that too, like, a couple I'm going. times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It has go, to be, that has to be done. I've been to South yeah. Korea. I have yeah. to go over the border. Yeah, if you've done the South, you got to do the North. Yeah. <laughs> it's just the way the world <laughs> works, works, unfortunately. Lads, let's pull our G7 Xs and let's go. Yeah. No, I'm putting the G7 X away, bro. Those are. I'm not coming. Yeah. But anyways, like for example, that is. I would love to be an investigative, an investigative journalist. Okay. Who goes to like North Korea or Russia and so on? That that is right up. My I mean, street. you ain't going to North Korea as an investigative journalist. That's the Pe- last thing they want there. I know, but people have done it. There's, right, 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 and they haven't made it out, yeah. unfortunately. No, no. <laughs> I tell you one thing. I saw on Reddit not long ago, and this is like a why you know like a job as an in private investigator. Yeah, like it, it's a movie thing, but it does really exist. And it was a Reddit thread about how, how a guy thought his girlfriend was cheating on him, and he hired a private investigator to tailor for two three weeks and got all the details back and he, they, in the end they figured it all out and i think that is a bit of a mad fucking job your job is people like him coming to you be like my bird's cheating on me here's some money go and find out all the shit and you've sat there an elite the op- stalker yeah you, and you're sat there on the other side of the mcdonald's <laughs> just taking notes down yeah. and it's so easy and in this day and, and age uh, yeah and it's a bit mad but it's seen, and it is literally a movie style job. Like but it, but I yeah. do think it's probably a, a lot more glamour, mate. I was about to say, yeah, I bet you're sitting on the other side of that McDonald's for fucking eight. Like you're yeah. sitting around for so long. So and it, the anxiety, yeah, of, of not getting, getting caught. caught. Oh right, yeah. yeah. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. But also the moment where it actually the guy who yes. hired you and what he thought is true, and you catch him, and you're like. Yeah. Oh fucking god! I got, got it. <laughs> She's cheating, <Yeah>. Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I that is a. I would, if I had to pick a job, you do private investigate. No, obviously besides astronaut, which is yeah, pretty yeah, unrealistic yeah, yeah. because it's very hard to be an astronaut. It's only like five hundred people. What about something to space. achieve though? Like that, that's like a cool other job. Something to achieve? What do you? Yeah, like me. Me an I example. Like, like if you're a cow, I want to go to North Korea. Chip wants um, to do to do what? What do you want to do? One thing. Like, like an event Damn, a thing. some of that I really want to achieve. Go on, I'll what give you, you a second. Get what? thinking. Go I want to go, you know how they can send um, pressurized submarines now to the bottom of the ocean? Yeah. 
Yeah. Like a thousand, two thousand, three thousand meters deep. Can't think of anything worse. Go down, pitch Get black. Get me away from this. Have you seen some of the like dinosaurs that they have down there? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're but, nuts. But the thing is, in that submarine, you're not actually seeing anything. You're aware it's not like a glass submarine. It, there are. No, 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 no. Like the ones that are going. How deep are we talking I here? Watched, I watched a video three days about, ago. Like, the Mariana Trench. It had a. It had a headlights called. at the front, and it oh, had a, the a, little uh, ones. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're going down deep, right? But they're not going down like. But they still see some shit. Yeah, they do. They they see like the see-through fish. You see yeah, those yeah, yeah, like yeah. The, the translucent every, fish. Every every like fish or whatever down there uh-huh. doesn't have a backbone because of the pressure, and they're right. all just wow. like tentacly. Like jelly. Didn't know, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, well, so not all of them, but that is an experience. The majority that you see, yeah, I would love that. That's an anxiety That's crippler. That is. That mate. is quite no, the opposite of what I would want. I don't think I'm that scared of death. Have you been diving before? No, I can't swim that well. Well, that, that's fair. Oh, enough. you don't want to go. But, on but you don't actually have then. to be like a good swimmer to dive, be- because it. You Do could, you not? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> that is definitely bullshit. There's no <laughs> way you can say he can't be a good swimmer and then go dive. And surely not. No, like as long you as you, if you're a, if, 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 you, if you're a competent swimmer, you don't have to be a good swimmer. As long as you can swim. But, but I think when most people say they're not a good swimmer, that means they're not good at. Swimming no, I've seen. I mean, you see, I've been. I've been in pools. At, okay, one time he almost got swept away in Ibiza, but like at the right, end of that's, the that's, that's worrying <laughs> enough. Big but, star had to save me. Literally, <laughs> big the goat just rolling in. I was getting pulled away, away like story. mad. Oh, I it is. I don't really get in. I'm not a great swimmer, so I don't get yeah. into the water that much. And I jump off the. The, oh, I jump off a jet ski right next to our yacht that we'd hired for the day. Oh no! First world problems. This. F- first world or second? We were talking about second world oh problems. Oh my earlier. god, Cal, Cal! Before <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, carry on because I got first, to say. Fully a first world problem. <laughs> I jump off this jet ski, let someone else on, and I start like floating away. I'm like, all right, one second. Start kicking my legs. <laughs> Do my arms. The arms are going. Oh, I'm still going, and I was like. Straight away, to be credit to myself, yeah, I said, "Guys, you're gonna have to come get me, or like on a jet ski." Yeah, yeah. And I just gave up. I had a life jacket on. I was sat there in the water, and I'm starting 10, 20, 30. You're going back quick, away. by the way. I'm I'm going fast, and Vic's scrambling for. A- no, no, no. So, so because I was stood there watching you, and I go, "Nah, he's actually like, yeah, I'm done getting drifted away here and away from shore." And so we we had we had one of the people that were working on the yacht. And so they're looking at me and Vic, and we're all sort of looking at each other like, one of us is going in here at w- uh, to, to go and get him. Me and Vic, good swimmers. And then Vic just goes, I'll go in and get him. Like he that. was gassed to do it though. No, no, no. Fair. Yeah, he, he, he did make it seem like, oh, I'll go and get him. But as soon as it, it's like his life, like, yeah, you know, he's yeah, like yeah. Baywatch just <laughs> yeah. clicked in and he grabs a big inflatable yeah. or whatever. It goes over to you, grabs you and fair play to him. He he, he, he is a good swimmer. He is a good swimmer. And say, that, say the line had like 40 meters of give on it. Yeah. Uh, on the ring that was connected to a line that was connected to the boat. Yeah. And he just got to me and the line run out. So I oh. had to swim I, the jet ski could have come and got me like i was absolutely yeah, fine he was always but i had to swim for a fucking life against the current <laughs> as fast as i could to get like one wow. meter away from the yeah. thing grabbed it oh, and then vic a good story that vic you know without any qualms swam against the current with me back holding the rope like nothing wow the kid that is jokes. the kid's a fish he is a fish that's mad the thing is though like you could like even still like how knows about me in the sea i hate I'm a great swimmer. I can swim very well, but I don't, you won't, ca- like, I do not like going in this. Well, open water. Yeah. It's uh, the idea of emptiness below me. And yeah, if, there's and probably and a shark nibbling and your toes. I, like, I, I was out with, I was in Dubai with this guy and he's got me in the sea. It rarely happens, but he's got me in there. Oh, that's and me swimming, and a lot of alcohol. And I'm a, we're a bit away from the boat and I'm swimming back to the boat and he starts pulling on my leg. <laughs> pulling me under in the middle of the sea by the way and he knows I hate it and then I've started going oh I'm panicking now and I'm panicking <laughs> I've got back on the boat like I'm nearly dying I'm like my heart is flying out of my chest I'm like Jesus Christ never again you're like I'm back on and I was all I was like it's like that when you start panicking in the ocean it's it's almost impossible to get rid of the panic yeah it's true and that's why even, when I started floating away I was like I'm just gonna stay above water yeah it's blessed come yeah, save me yeah. fellas 
It's a scary yeah. place, man. What, what's the fact? What's the statistic about how much of the ocean is unexplored? Isn't it something? Oh, like ninety-five percent in there. Yeah, it's gotta be crazy. And that's gotta be. How mental is that, though? Yeah, there are the vi- cities and everything under there. There are unknown lands, unknown things. There are animals that have not been discovered. There Bro, could be I watched a video anything. the other day that's three years old, hit my homepage because you know they're doing the most at the moment on YouTube yeah. on the homepage. Yeah, the old vids. The Classic. old vids are Always hitting. going around. And this guy got in this, this little submarine thing that I'm talking about and uh-huh. goes down. He's in the Antarctic. Mm-hmm. So there's nothing on, on land. It's snow and ice, right? Yep. And polar bears. It goes down to the bottom and it's just thriving. What? There's life. coral. We're talking a thousand meters down. There's coral, there's fish, there's these little fucking tiny in- invertebrate things that are going around that are perfect food for anything. Yeah. It's absolutely packed because obviously no one's down there. The water is a mad place though. I spoke it's crazy. to Simon about this once and Simon said something to me and he said, fish are aliens. And I thought to my, and I know it sounds mad because we're so used to the water and so used to how fish are just in the water, but He's not wrong in a sense that they live in a complete different environment, different atmosphere. <laughs> That's our very expensive the set. The lying has there. gone down. But yeah, no, the way they live, they don't breathe air. They yeah. op- like it's a complete different. But they do. There's, because there's the volcanic, the volcanic kind of things that come up from the bottom of the sea. But it's the sense that if humans jump into where they live, we can't live. No, if they not jump, unless you and invest if they, in the and Kickstarter. If they, and if they come out to where we live, they can't live. It's like two separate worlds. It's like we live on And we land. evolved from that. Yeah, but I find that a bit crazy. I mean, it's not something that people think about often because we're so used to it. But fish are a bit mad. They they're live crazy. in a complete separate world. Fish and are my- there are two worlds on this planet. There is the sea and yeah, then there is true. land. And there's just about to be three because there's going to be the air. The, you mean space? The you aliens. Space. The space. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm praying. That's one thing I'm praying for most. See, I'm a big, I love I loved fish. I love being out there. I'm, I love diving. He loved, he I love you're, it, you're a freak. Guy. First you guy, can, first you can run for ages sea, and you can swim and you, you're just I like you're a freak. Stuff. Yeah. That's what I'm into. You're it's quite childhood. athletic, to be fair. It's the childhood. It is, it is, it I is. had a deprived childhood where I could barely go swimming yeah. at an East London fucking swimming pool. Fred off, 15p Fred off's me and you. Yep. Well, 10p, 10p for him. 10p. I told you he's 32, isn't he? Where's this geezer? Horseback. This guy. <laughs> Horseback. Pyramid. Not, Egypt. Egypt. Pyramid. Not a camel by the pyramids. <laughs> yeah. A horse. Yeah. Yeah. He paid horse, more. Yeah. yeah. I had my own horse. Me and my man on the weekends. <laughs> Anyways. Different childhood. It was it was different. It was but very it, it sculpts you. It's interesting. It is. You know what I mean? Makes you. You uh, ended up all right considering how privileged you were. <laughs> I don't know if I would. I, 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 I would. I would say. <laughs> no, you say you say, you you've uh, you've stayed grounded. I'll no, give you be, that. Be, no, you've definitely stayed definitely grounded. Stayed grounded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No way, bro. I'm not grounded. Don't no, disrespect me like that. No, I would say you're like grounded that. in a sense that you're I'm very not humble. Res- you're very. Stop uh, <laughs> you're not humble, but you're respectful. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Sometimes, fine. but yeah. it's inter- it's interesting though because I would I would argue that had I had I been like in a private school in the UK from the beginning all the way to the end, I think I'd be very different to now. Like, just be, I lived abroad, obviously, and you go to different like in, you go to international school, but at the same time, you grow up around so many other cultures, so you have to, you have to respect other cultures. Yeah, you have to learn. Ne- yeah. Never, never once, especially when you're growing up, do you ever think, oh, like, oh, I'm better than you know this mm-hmm. person. But it's like you're living there. If anything, you you understand it more, you relate to it more, and you learn their culture first and foremost. Otherwise, you know you're not going to have a chance to like survive in a different country. So. I would I would argue that, but yeah, admittedly, yeah, I had a good I had a good upbringing. I was never in the bins. Put it that way, I was fortunate. My parents, I, I was never in the bins. Well, I ain't ever seen a period in my life, so that's all I'll say. A pyramid. <laughs> never seen a pyramid. Dom was cutting about either. six years old, like uh, you know a what? pyramid. Giza, free up. No, nah, but f- uh, you know what we need to do? Uh, seriously, I want to talk about the pyramids on our uh, on our t- uh, detective show. Yeah, one hundred percent. But do you like. Bro, don't worry. We're hiring the best of the best yeah. to bring us the best I of the wanna best. I want to hit because I've, I've, you've linked me a Bro, couple of videos I before, send... and I don't know what to believe. So when I watch this episode of yours, I want don't it worry. to be the this one. This crime show will be the one of the best uh, unsolved mysteries slash true crime uh, yeah. shows that YouTube has ever uh, no, seen. No, I don't doubt that. Yes. Ever. But your pyramid talk. Oh, the pyramid <laughs> talk will be class. Kyle will certify that one. I'll hand it over to him. He knows his pyramid. Because when, his... when you've been there at six, you've seen shit people ain't ever seen. True. <laughs> Facts. Um, yep. 
I mean, I can't think. I'm, I'm trying to think of uh, any other particular uh, things to talk about now. I think we're done because I need a piss. You need a piss. <laughs> right, so it's got to that time. I of will the show. say one thing though. It's been one of my favorite podcasts that we've done. Really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, really? that goes to show the level yeah, of our I podcast. Think, I think. More I, than think it, I think you've mixed it all quite well today. Really? Yeah. The I've new longest. Well, we've uh, BTS Alex has just informed us live on the longest. podcast. The longest ever podcast. <laughs> what, what what time is this? Whoa, oh, over two hours. Oh. Is it really? Wow. Yeah, that oh, yeah, is well, you know what? That's, that goes to show how good it's been, though, because I thought go. I was thinking this is normal length. I'm going to take that and as guys, a massive compliment. And guys, yeah. if you are still listening at this point in the podcast, what we would like for you to comment down below is one word and one word only, and that word is leukemia. <laughs> if you could spell it. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Obviously, Calix has been an incredible guest. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and all up. the best with the next release of No Two Ways. And uh, Thank you. Please, you gotta, please promote them. Oh, uh, and you got to let me know about the investment thing because I'm yeah, trying to yeah, invest. Yeah, no, for real, for real. And don't yep. forget as well, guys, if you are watching on YouTube, you can yes. listen to the podcast on Spotify and Apple. There is an episode that comes out every week on Tuesday, 6 p.m. Mm. BTS Alex handles that. Khaled, thank you so much for coming on. Appreciate yeah, it. Thanks for having me. Thank I'll you be on again. Don't those worry. ad reads like Bro. nobody else on this fucking planet. We get that done. What? My ad read. My ad reading ad ability. So, thank you guys very much. And we will see you guys on the next episode. Goodbye. Wow, what a belter.